Hi. That was muted for a second. Hi. Hello. It's, it's the awkward beginning of a stream when you're waiting for people to come in. But then you know that people, when they watch it back later, they'll see this. So they're like, you can't just sit there. You can show them the dog. Is she, yeah, do you want to show them the dog? Maybe. She just got back from the groomers. Cow Marlette, first one here. Hello. Baby went to the groomers. Hello, baby dog here. Little baby dog. <laughs> and she's fluffy. So, that's your treat. That's your first treat of the day. Is seeing this fluffy dog. Oh, she smells so good. Yeah, finally. This dog gets stinky. She does get stinky. I'll tell you that. All right, we are doing the uh, a live stream of Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the game again. It's been a minute. But this one is for charity. This one is for Special Effect, which is a company that helps people with physical disabilities play video games. Yes. Yes. That's super cool. I know. I was saying that in my morning stream, how uh, cool it is that technology has come that I far. I was going to say the tech now to like assist people playing to uh play video games is so interesting to me there's like stuff where you you control it with your eyes the yeah movement of they your do that eyes. yeah special effect does so that. cool so yes uh if we could get let, let's uh let's get some let's get a nice strong foundation going on our our charity before we start the the game itself so i'm gonna post the link in the chat oh uh Request to turn up the mic a little bit. Oh, turn up the mic. Um, how's that? Is that better? Maybe is that is that better? So there's the link to turn up uh to turn up the mic. No, there's the link to donate. So how about we get uh how about we get a solid 150 going to start the chat? We're already at 40. We start at 40. So let's get another uh 110. I guess it's in pounds. Looks like it's uh all in pounds. <laughs> But I'm sure they will do the conversion for you. Thank you already, Kremlin de, de Great. I'm not sure. And uh, Meliz, Melizies, 83. And Anonymous for their donations. We appreciate that. Uh, I will also make a little donation to begin with. Don't show your credit card. Don't look at my credit card stream, please. Okay. It's not on stream unless uh what's that reflection like in the uh <laughs> the doom posters behind us? For, you know what? If someone really wanted to Dude, they might be able to, honestly. Here, what if I put it uh <laughs> <laughs> I'm just looking out for for can, us. Can we see this? Can we see this? Yes. <laughs> not if it's up here. It'll be, I'll just put it at the top of the screen. It'll be fine. But yes, join me in donating to Special Effect. That was one of the reasons I moved the uh, morning live streams upstairs. I mean, one, it's a better background. But two, it's just this reflective Doom posters, man. It's a shame. Used to be good at what game? Uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre? It just came out. What do you mean you used to? What happened? <laughs> 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 oh thank you uh brada Issa, i think that's how you say it uh it's probably because we were at halloween horror nights till two that's probably why i look so dewy and and just too sold <laughs> <laughs> i have a halloween horror nights hangover <laughs> oh yeah let's see let me oh I, I can just do it by paypal and then we don't even have to enter any sensitive information Thank you, Irish lover seven seven four five. I'm like reading the. And there's like the microphone arm. You're welcome, Tokyo Fear. Jazzy Bunny, I like the lady killer in this game too. Uh, sissy. All right, I just donated, and so did some other people. Who do we got? Maddie. And Char, thank you for your donations. Char, like the goddess of like death and sadness, Char from Baldur's Gate Three. Is are we actually are we being graced by her holiness? 
in this live stream. Char would be a gamer. Would she? Yeah, she'd be Char like the goddess Char would be an edgy gamer. Like an edge lord. <laughs> All right. We're gonna keep that going. Keep the donations coming, please. You know, we probably shouldn't have had oh, I think someone just did a big old donation. Oh, did we accidentally double? We got a donation from Lucy for five pounds. Hey, thanks. Wow. Lucy. And thanks, Mayor Dong. Mayor Dong. Appreciate it. What's my crown jewel predictions? Get ready for U.S. champion Logan Paul. <laughs> Definitely going to happen. <laughs> Mayor Dong, I hope you get elected to the second term. Yeah, Mayor Dong. I, as long as you listen to your constituents. <laughs> I don't want to see, you know, because there's easy campaigns against you. Dong was wrong. Uh, but Dong was wrong. The, you can also, you know, for your re-election, it could be. Live... Dong is strong. D Dong is strong. Live long. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's game. We're also. Oh, now our faces are kind of chopped off. We're gonna have um some guests joining us in this stream, including someone who worked on the game. Yo, Bloom. Oh, you're you're Char. You're Char Die. Okay. Yes, Char is a goddess in the the Dungeons and Dragons universe. Uh, and by extension, Baldur's Gate. She's kind of a baddie, but we love her. Oh, baddie is. Well, like, like a bad guy. <laughs> I know that we that means something different now. Yeah. <laughs> I guess she's kind of both, honestly. She's oh, a yeah? baddie and a baddie. She's a baddie. All right. Don't let me talk about Baldur's Gate 3 anymore. That's what this stream will turn into. That's all it'll be, probably. All right. Oh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Good to have you back. Oh, wait, is that coming through the speakers? It's coming through the speakers. Whoops. Ah, one second. Let me fix this blunder. Oh, hey, special special effect is in the chat, and they said we should absolutely talk about Baldur's Gate 3. <laughs> <laughs> I know James is silently screaming at you to not enable his wife. <laughs> Someone came dressed as a Starian to our Halloween party, and James was like, you come to my house dressed like my wife's video game, current video game crush. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> he almost left. <laughs> Let's make sure we get the a special effect. You did dress as a strike. <laughs> I was last seen near the town of Newt more than two weeks ago, but with no physical evidence. All right. Investigation has stalled. Is that too quiet? Do you leave us anything less hope? Maria's younger sister, Anna. I can hear it. And a group of Thank you, S S, for your donation. Their missing loved one. But any grief or sadness. I love you. Got the opening scroll down like so perfect yeah what awaited this group of youths was a nightmare to also quit sending money to us quit doing super chats donate them to the oh, yeah, special effects special instead effect. i wonder if we can do like a mod bot what, what do you mean a mod bot or isn't that thing like a like a bot to be like hey donate to special effect instead oh philip or we can just make sure we donate all the super chats. Yeah, I'll do another donation at the end. Yeah. Philip superseded us as the top donor. Thanks, Philip. Thank you, Philip. Philip said our channel's the reason they love the horror genre. Hell yeah. Yay. Dr. K, thank you. Jigsaw, thank you. Glad that you took some time out of your uh, m moral <laughs> guided oh, torture. I was going to say civil engineering. That too. You know, you have a lot of hobbies. So to, to tune into a stream and donate, we appreciate that. Swiggity swoogity. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Because he dares James to tickle Chelsea. Oh, I, no. I don't think... Do, I don't know if I've ever tickled you. I don't know. I, I am ticklish, but I don't know if that's like a thing we do regularly. <laughs> <laughs> Great. I hope that was everything you wanted it to be. <laughs> All right. Content update. Oh, yeah. There was a giant fucking con. Like, there was Outfits. a 25 gig. Outfits. Outfits. You got to. Yeah, you got to buy them. You got to buy them. Outfits. <laughs> Outfits. 
All right, let's just hop into yeah, <laughs> Greg Nicotero Leatherface. Oh yeah, I like the Greg Nicotero Leatherface. <laughs> He's so um disheveled. His shirt might be the cleanest out of all of them, though. Does he have a bolo tie? Is it like a bone bolo tie? Oh, maybe. I can't really. It looks like it's, it's like a, a like a spine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's just jump into a match real fast and see. Remind ourselves how to play. Oh my, I'm sorry if I keep like wiping my eyes for for horror nights last night. I wore a bunch of glitter on my eyes, and I couldn't get it all off. And I feel like they're just slowly all kind of migrating into my eyes. Oh no, it's not good. that's not good at all. But I looked really good. <laughs> yeah. Where are we? What are we? Oh, we're Dreeton. Okay. Apparently, no one ever wants to be Leatherface. I hear. Really? Is it just because he's slow? I don't know. That's what I saw on the the old Twitter. People saying that. Um, I guess I'll say I'm ready, even though I'm not sure if I am. Imagine not wanting to be the baby. Right? The sweet boy. Oh, because he, he starts, starts in the basement. basement. Mm. Greg's sausage. We didn't get a sausage roll from Greg's when we were in London. That was one thing I remember. Oh, saying, yeah. Like, people but, like, told we us to do that. We didn't. Did it. That's right. Is that what you're named after, Greg? So we have to go back. <laughs> we got to go back for that sausage roll. A business or pleasure sausage roll? Sausage roll or and bun stick. <laughs> Always bun stick. If you live in London, <coughs> anyone who's in this stream and lives in London or is going to be in London, there is a Korean corn dog place called Bun Sick in Soho that we were obsessed with when we were there. Really liked it. It's so good. Only place we ate at twice. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> Sausage. 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 Special effect are from Oxford and have lots of Greg's about. Yes. They'll, they'll sort you out. Yes. Yeah, see it. Say, say it, it. Sorted. sorted. <laughs> I really think that they should sell merch with that on it. Hell yeah. Because I would have bought a shirt with see it, say it, sorted on it. <laughs> well, George Lamb worked for Greg's. He literally saw how the sausage got made. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Nice. Oh, you already got food on your face. Was that before or after she pissed on our rug? Yeah, she got too excited being home from the groomer and peed on the rug. She doesn't even do that. So mad. Demorda, I'll talk about London all day. It's my favorite place I've ever been. All right, we just need Exofrag. To, uh, look at all this cross-platform stuff. Got We got PlayStation persons. We got Xbox people. We got... There's a nice distribution there. So much diversity in gaming. <laughs> Thank you, Deadshot. We can't talk about that, unfortunately. <laughs> Old Greg sausages. I truly, I hope AMPTP gets it together because not being able to talk about movies is killing me. It's hopefully this week. Hopefully. I forgot how to play this game, so oh, <laughs> I just missed the. Let's let's do it. You got it. Thanks, son. Ben, we have not watched Nerdy Fruits yet. We're very behind on stuff. That's me. Looking good. I do think this game is really nice to look at. Mm -hmm. Um, I think we were saying oh, that the first that. time we streamed, but I love that it it takes place during magic hour and you've got this nice kind of is it like occlusion the kind of like the way that it like 
particles affect light. Mm. Yeah, and like the bloom, it's just really nice. It does look gorgeous. Yeah, it Where's... makes it, it weirdly makes the Sawyer estate estate's the wrong word, but the Sawyer <laughs> compound kind of like an appealing place to be in, which you think that would never be the case. Where's Grandpa? I believe I have to wake him up you first gotta, order of business. Yeah, wake him up, and then you're gonna be giving him blood. Who's there that? he is. Oh. Oh yeah, because my fav Fuck. my favorite notification in the game is just Grandpa activated. <laughs> <laughs> Make some noise. Grandpa right? activated. <laughs> All right. I don't have blood. Glitter in my eyes. Can I? <laughs> what are my powers besides swipe? Oh yeah, the people are asking if if the microphone can be moved closer to me. Uh, you can move it, yeah. I don't know how to play this game anymore. I'm just gonna close all these. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, what's next for the podcast? Uh, we're gonna be a few days late this week just because with like, we had to push the podcast and with Halloween and I don't know stuff scheduling uh bullshit. It's going to be a few days late, but we're going to be doing Noroi the Curse because I've been wanting to watch it very badly. I've never seen it. I have a feeling it's going to actually scare me. Found footage. I didn't realize this from 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm closing all these crawl spaces. Am I doing good? I like kicking stuff. Can't wake up grandpa without blood. Can't get blood without people. Can't get people without knowing where they are. Then I'm hoping for an interview with Phil Tippett as well. It's we go back and forth with his team. Like we we all want it to happen. Um, it's just scheduling strike stuff you know it's it's a thing but i know that phil oh, phil what? tippett like is aware of us he likes us i mean he won a he won a prime rib yeah uh so we we really want to do something with him so i'm coming grandpa i got you some blood where'd you go grandpa that guy just gets up to too much trouble. I can't find him. Now I'm getting all tired. Oh, who's this? Oh, hello. That's Scout, I think. Or the character voiced by Scout. Aha, I closed that. I closed that. I closed that. Wait, why? What the? You can't go under those. No, but I was swiping and it wasn't swiping. What the F? And why can't I? Okay, feed him. What was that? The Sawyer Shuffle sentence. Is the Sawyer Shuffle. <laughs> to the left, to the left, to the <laughs> left, to the left. Was that my buddy or was that? Is that? Oh, yeah. You got, I got tired. Okay, Grandpa's hungry again. I just fed the guy. Oh, man. I feel like she was... I was just handed her on a silver platter, and I let it go. <laughs> Grandpa is a little sleepy lad. Oh, oops. Nope. I didn't want to unlock. My bad. I didn't realize special effects is based in the UK. Yeah. We have so many friends over in the UK now. I feel like we just we just somehow keep accumulating them. <laughs> it just happens on accident, and I love it. 
It just gives me more reason to go back and visit everyone. So I'm guessing the hearing thing, you got to be a little bit closer. We do eventually want to do like a tour. Yeah. Podcast tour, hit up some international um, international places, talk about international cinema or something to that effect. Let's see if I can hear any of these stupid kids. Some tips I'm getting from the chat. Yeah, please. <laughs> are locked doors behind you. Okay. That's it? It's so we've collabed with Good Mythical Morning before, although it was a while ago at this point. They were on the podcast a long time ago. Yeah, that was in the apartment. And then, James, you were on their show to talk about Halloween candy. Mm -hmm. And... And I made everyone very James made everyone sanely, uh, reasonably understanding and happy <laughs> when I chose what was it almond you joy chose over... almond joy over what was it something that I like so I was offended is it Twix maybe that I can't if it's Twix that's unconscionable. <laughs> Where are these damn kids? Grant, or, uh, <laughs> Drayton's really getting his steps in today. Yeah, this is probably more than he's moved in a long time. I feel bad for my team. My teammates are probably like, what's this guy doing? Grandpa's power increased. <coughs> Ooh. George Lamb asks, what's your favorite British candy? We didn't really have much candy while we were there. No, I don't think we did. We just had mostly carbs. <laughs> just warm, <laughs> warm carbs. Lots of potato-based dishes, which is my favorite kind. Um, yeah, I, I wish that I thought to bring home... Some British candy. Yeah, I mean, I'm yeah, not there candy. you go. Special effect UK food tour. We'll hit up Greg's and then get some candy. As long as bun sticks involved. Here's the thing: is I, when we were over in London, our friend uh, Irving, shout out to Irving, was explaining that like British food, like it gets a bad rap. We personally really liked it, but it's. It's meant to just keep you warm because the climate there is so chilly. So it's just it's just cozy food, which I love. Who's that? Is that friend? We also when we were there, we brought a bunch of American candy over uh, as a treat for as a treat and a thank you for some. Uh, Ooh. Look at them. Oh, there they are. We're some friends at, at Parliament um, who gave us a tour. And we brought over, I, I brought Jif peanut butter. I, I like. I just got some like really American stuff that I, I looked to see what you guys can't get over there. So I think I put, I got Pop-Tarts, um, Twinkies. Yeah, Jif peanut butter. I'm trying to think what else I put in there. But I, I wrapped it all cute with a bow and everything. And then I realized we had to go through security in Parliament. <laughs> and we were just, we walked in with the most suspicious looking, like, killer clowns fucking gift. Yeah. <laughs> through it looked... security. It was, I took a picture of James with it. Because I was like, I didn't realize how bad this it was going like to look. Bomb. It just looked like a, it looks like the Joker trying to blow up Gotham City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> so bad <laughs> uh did that last person get away then <sighs> oh sente milka bars are very good xander asks what's your favorite form of potatoes huh crispy hash browns maybe Ooh. 
That's so. I'm genuinely thinking, what is Damn, my favorite? Two of them favorite? escaped. I think that one who escaped was the one who I hurt real bad. Damn. Yeah, well, home fries are good. Just like breakfast potatoes. Really good. All right. Can we uh, have a little interview while we're gone? Let's see. Uh, werewolf. I was Leatherface for Halloween one year. Like, I think that was like 2020 because I was able to. Um, we went to like an outdoor event and I made a. I was Leatherface, but my my mask instead of having a full like Leatherface mask, I made um, like a COVID style like mask oh, that yeah. looked like it was stitched out of skin and stuff, and I just put an actual mask under it, so. It was kind of like a COVID style leather face. All right, we have a uh, <clears throat> we have Paige Harvey, the gaming community manager. Oh, although I don't know if Paige is going to be joining us for the interview. Let me see here. Is Paige the one in the chat? Mm, uh, I'm not sure. Let's see. Where's where's the chat? Yes, two live streams in one day, Tigri. And it I'm... is Paige. Okay, hi. Oh, hi, Paige. Yes. Okay, <laughs> cool. And then we are also going to be joined by Steve. I'm sorry I made this chat a disaster. It's like half legitimate questions and discussion about the game and half people listing their favorite types of potato. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see here. One second. I also want to check in on the charity itself and see how that's doing. Oh, nice. We've raised 1600. Wow. Yes, the goal is 4K. We can we can so do it. Yeah, let's do Oh, Philip with a grand. Damn, Philip. Thank you. Appreciate that. And uh who's that? Name's getting cut off. Trucker. Trucker and arm. And 81 to 3, thank you. If you have really strong feelings about your favorite kinds of potatoes, you can donate to Special Effect and say which kind you like, and whoever donates the most and lists a form of potato preparation, they're like, that becomes the objective correct answer. <laughs> we'll you put it on Wikipedia on everything. You, you can determine the best potato. <laughs> Trying to get this zoom going. Thank you, Ryan. Big Fat Bear is asking what we're doing for Halloween. Probably, well, no, you know, we're going to go. Uh, I keep thinking like, oh, we're going to sleep all day, but that's not true. We have plans this year. We'll sleep a little bit. We have, we're <laughs> hitting up two separate movie marathons. Yeah. We're going to Zorin's. Who's marathoning a bunch of movies and then... He's doing all Saw. The, he's starting at 8 in the morning. Yeah, he's marathoning all the we're Saw movies. We're not going to start then. And then we're going to go over to uh, Spencer uh, Spencer Charnas' house. He's also marathoning a bunch of movies. And he would not tell me what they were playing. He yeah. said it's a surprise. It's so. a surprise, so we'll That's see. That's probably what... just to get us... To make sure we showed up. <laughs> <laughs> all right. And I'm just looking for Steve... Then we unfortunately don't get trick-or-treaters at our house. We so. don't get trick-or-treaters, unfortunately. LA's a weird trick-or-treating city because there are neighborhoods where it's pretty safe. Thank you, Blizzaga. But LA's such a car city that depending on like the, where we live, it's just too, too car heavy. And Bob Wilcox, thank you for your donations. Thank you. All right, well, while we wait for Steve to join us, I guess we can get another quick match in, maybe. Let's see what happens. Uh, we dressed up as Beavis and Butthead for Halloween. Yes, there's pictures on Dead Meat James's Instagram. That's that, me. That was my, my our, that was our strike-friendly costume up there. Because TV animation is a different contract, <laughs> the more you know. Oh, I'm Leatherface. Let's be the boy. No, please. Okay. Do we have... I forget if we have other outfits for him. Thank you, unofficial gamer. I don't know what currency that is. 
but I saw it at first and and panicked. ID what's IDR? I don't know. Oh, that's a lot. I, I know that's what I'm saying. I want to know what currency that is. It's rupees. Okay. Oh, cool. Okay. Uh, yeah, I have no idea how to do the Leatherface stuff. That would be a good Sporkle quiz. It's different countries' currencies. Oh, yeah, that would be. Execution? Okay. Oh, do we have... Can we put points in our skill tree? Uh, that seems like so much work. But do it. Everyone is yelling at you. What? What do I gotta do? Skill Everyone's tree? chanting skill tree. Are they? They long for the skill tree. Okay, we're here. We're here at the skill tree. That means I have to go this way. Wait. <laughs> Gesundheit. Extra attribute point. To okay. God, I wish I had the time to just sit down and learn just this read stuff. all these yeah. am i am i doing it right yeah i guess just invest in skills based on vibes increases chicken <laughs> detection radius chicken detection radius sounds very useful i want to get that chicken detection radius yeah hell yeah guys chicken detection radius what's savagery Acquired. why do you increase that They should just have a skill that's called Chainsaw Go Brewer. <laughs> <laughs> and it does something to the chainsaw. Oh, Steve's in the waiting room here. Oh, awesome. Oh, and everyone's waiting for me to be ready. I'm sorry. I'm ready now. <laughs> I thought that was Steve at first. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, they might be able to hear. There we go. Hi, Steve. Hi, Steve. Oh, Hello, and Paige. Hello, and Paige. Hi. How are you guys? Good. Very good. What time is it for you guys? It's kind of late, right? Oh, okay. Okay, so not too late. Bad. Nice. And I just want to confirm, can the chat hear our guests? They can't see or hear them, they said. Uh-oh, and I'm supposed to be Leatherface? Uh-oh. Uh, okay. Yeah, let me try to... F yeah, uh, I'm... G <laughs> I don't know what to uh, to prioritize, being Leatherface or fixing the stream. <laughs> yeah, it who are you, who are you going <laughs> to let down, James? I know, I'm going to let down someone. Uh... There we go. <laughs> I thought I saw someone over here. Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll fix the stream in a, a minute, but first I got to kill some kids. Hold okay. on. Yeah. Could have sworn I saw someone around some here. Oh, they might have gotten, gotten through that little narrow spot that Leatherface can't fit through. <laughs> That's my Thank assumption. you, special effects, for your patience. They understand that being best boy Leatherface is... Of utmost importance. <laughs> Wait, you said you were you were a starian for Halloween? Oh my goodness. Got Once we <gasps> Really? Okay, I'm gonna have to go look for it. Once we get once we get the audio fixed. I would like to hear more about this because I need a chance to talk Baldur's Gate. Yeah, Astarian truly is everyone's boyfriend right now. I was trying to describe it to James. I'm like, you don't understand. Like, the, everyone is just understand. obsessed. Y yeah, like, he, he, he wants to be everyone's boyfriend. It's like, he's such an equal opportunity love interest. He's very cool. Oh, no, I don't know where I'm going. <laughs> Got this, hon. I don't at all, but thank you for the blind confidence. 
Should I go, should I go up here? Got it. I will lock it behind me. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Ah, I found it. Oh, man. No. I can't wait till we get this sound fixed because Steve, it, Steve actually knows how to play this. Well, I would hope so. <laughs> <laughs> Did I get her? Okay, so I was I was swiping. I think I hit her once, but how do I swipe better? How do I do this better? <laughs> Aim. <laughs> okay. Can I get them when they're going through like that? Or no? Okay. 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 Okay, now that now that uh the the people are loose, I am going to fix the stream so that people can hear you because this is all very valuable yes, information. Yes, and I also would love to have you both actually introduce yourselves and, yeah. and, and tell everyone what you do. So let's do instead uh, of everyone just listening to a one sided conversation exactly, of me yeah. being like, So um what uh what about a starian? <laughs> <laughs> all of them. Ooh, Halson. Yes. <laughs> okay. Can people hear you guys now if you want to say something? Hello. Test, Hello, I'm testing. Steve. One, yes. two, three. Great. There you go. Okay. Are we there? Fantastic. I believe people can now hear you. Let me double check. Right, we've with got the to be chat. careful what we say now. Yes, Paige. they can. Yay, they can oh. hear you. Yeah, no more, no more swearing and you know insulting everyone's moms. <laughs> yes. Okay, we gotta stop that. Oh, that out now. Shame, shame. <laughs> okay, would you like to introduce yourself to the stream, please? Yeah, Paige, do you want to go first? Oh, all right then. Hello, chat. Hello, James. Hello, Chelsea. So yes, I'm Paige. I'm Special Effects Gaming Community Manager. Essentially, what that means is for the charity, wherever you find nerds or video games or live streams, social media, sort of events, things like that. That's exactly where you're going to find me and special effects, which Debmeet is very, very kindly supporting. And all of you in the chat are supporting at the minute. It's a charity based in the UK. And what we do is help physically disabled people to access, uh, like access technology. So whether that's disabled people who want to play video games and they need like individual setups made if you can't use your hands you might need to use your shoulders for example we'll work with people one-on-one -on -one to set up those different setups and get them playing the games they really want to play uh it might be somebody who's say had a car accident and has ended up partially paralyzed and needs to be able to you know play their favorite music or watch a youtube video or email their family we will help get them set up with eye tracking technology so that they're able to do that from hospital while they recover or it might be a, a young kid who unfortunately is going through cancer treatment and is immunocompromised. We can set them up with what's called a bubble buster, which is a very, very adorable little robot. Nothing like Megan at all. A very, very cute little <laughs> robot, which will go to school in their place. What? They have a, like a, a tablet. And with that tablet, they can see around the classroom. They can like raise their hand and speak to the teacher. Their friends can take it to the playground. Uh, so that they still get so to... Cool interact i know i i love it so much every time we get photos and videos back i'm like you can't send this during the day because i'm not allowed to cry on company time uh, uh you know and it uh it's amazing but enough for me steve introduce yourself my love um <laughs> <laughs> that's completely um blow me away that's awesome um yeah my name's steve kirby i'm a lead game designer at sumo nottingham um and i make video games i'm also a part-time puppet maker uh and make soft toys puppets and other nonsense um 
And yeah, I was part of the team that made uh, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre that uh, James and Chelsea are lovingly demonstrating right now. Attempting to, oh, in any we're case. We're trying yeah. to. You're doing, a gr- you're doing a grand job, don't worry. Thank you. Oh. How long did you work on the game, Steve? Uh, I've been on out. the game, uh, well, before it came out, just over three years. Wow. Uh, Which and aspects obviously, of the game were you really involved with? Uh, really involved, well, as the lead on the project, I'm involved in basically all of it. Okay. Um, so, uh, yeah, I manage the design team, uh, work with the game directors to uh, make sure that the vision of the game and everything uh, that we put in the game uh, maintains that vision um, of delivering the Texas Chainsaw Massacre to, to you guys. Um, I also yeah work for my design team and make sure they've got everything they need to be able to do their jobs, uh, be able to, yeah, any problems, any blockers, any anything that's getting in the way, any tools they need. I'm the person that goes and sorts that out. And then I also get to design some little bits of stuff. Um, so uh, things like uh, very early prototypes of the bone charms uh, that you see hanging the noisemakers. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, so stuff like that. Um, and yeah, just really working on a, you know, on the character designs, the, you know, helping the level designers uh, work out the maps. And I, as a lead, I get a little hand in everything and get to, you know, direct um, with the, with the game directors, get to direct how the game comes out as a whole. Were Were you a fan of the movie before you started working on the game? Um, I'd seen the movie actually. Yeah, confession. I'd seen the movie once okay. before I started working on the game. Back, <laughs> How many back times my... have you watched it since you started uh, working? I, uh, several hundred. Yes, yeah. um, <laughs> yeah, so I have. We have poured over that movie. Um, so one of the big things, both for ourselves and our partners at Gun, um, I mean, Gun are just experts in horror. Mm-hmm. Um, you, you know, it, it is unbelievable how much they know, and the big. Uh, or our, one of our big pillars of the game is authenticity. We wanted to deliver, you know, as an authentic Texas Chainsaw Massacre experience as we possibly could. So, you know, we really, really poured over the movie. We got access to a whole bunch of besi- behind the scenes uh, footage and photographs that no one else had seen. Um, the guy once, I mean, we started the game in the pandemic, so we we're all working remotely and at home and, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, when that broke, um, we could we could actually go out. The, our partners at Gun went on a huge field trip to Texas, and we're taking thousands of reference photos. I was going to ask if everything. you then, and did you go to the house? We've, I've been to the house. Yeah, I've. Oh, they definitely uh, so, did. Yeah, I got the I got the opportunity to uh, go to an event, um, so a, a launch event in Texas. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gun very nicely invited us over, a bunch of us over, and I got to meet a whole bunch of players and a whole bunch of people there. Um, we took um, the best boy that's sitting on my lap at the moment. Uh, we got to uh, take him to to his homeland, and uh, we took him to the house. Uh, met the met the owners there. Had lunch in the chicken room. Uh-huh. Oh, is, uh huh. Oh, really, really surreal. Um, yeah. Uh, the, the best one of the best thing is um, the the one of the owners showed us around and and showed us the place and it was really great. And then we sat down and said, and your server today will be Johnny. And all of us were just like, what? Oh God. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> because perfect. It's like, uh, so uh, yeah, so we were served by Johnny, who was a lovely man. Amazing. Um, and yeah, we went there, we went to the gas station um, and saw all of that. Uh, and yeah, it was just really amazing to, to, yeah, to visit there after spending two and a half, three years working on the game and seeing yeah work out these locations and i'm uh, i'm impressed you visited after having worked on the game and done everything because it feels like down to the tiniest detail it just feels so i don't know like everything it just feels so perfect and lived in and texas chainsaw is my favorite horror movie yeah. and it just it feels even just the the time of day like even it just feels exactly like see, that, running that, around in that first movie. See, that's what makes it worthwhile for us. Yeah, mm-hmm. hear, hearing you know true fans like yourself mm-hmm. being able to come along and say, yeah, you've absolutely nailed it. Um, as far as atmosphere goes, as far as the feel of the game goes, and uh, and the environments. I mean, our art art director uh, Kelvin mm-hmm. and uh, the art team did an amazing job uh, recreating those. Uh, you know and. I said the reference images that Gunn took and and pouring over the movie and the attention to detail mm-hmm. and yeah you know, you'd think that okay you know having meetings where you're talk, discussing plug sockets 
Uh-huh. I, uh huh. in the in the kitchen, or or is that paper? <laughs> Like yes. the outlet. I, I was I yeah, was yeah. gonna ask, you know, because it's it, all of that stuff. Yeah. When I think of it, this movie and like the world of this movie, it's very American. Mm-hmm. Uh, oh like, yeah. You know, something set oh, yeah. in Texas is just like this is such an American horror movie, and I love that you guys were the ones who made it feel that. Like, were you were you at all worried about the authenticity in that? respect because i mean i guess if you're talking about plug sockets it seems like yeah <laughs> just just little things where maybe you yeah. you don't as- assume it would look different or uh, i don't know just little details that would give away that it wasn't a yeah, totally well, that's what you, yeah that's what you what you study in the movie i mean literally you know you know the art art department and design departments going through things frame by frame mm-hmm. uh of the, the areas that are in, you know actually in the movie uh, which is, you know, not all that much if you if you really think about it in the grand scheme of, of you know, the layout of the house that we ended up with. Um, but yeah, I'm working again, working with uh, Ronnie and Rob and uh, the guys from Gun, and just saying, you know, and they, as I said, they really know their stuff, and they would, you know, very rightly pick us up and say, you know, oh, maybe that's not quite right, or have we looked at this, and can we? And we'd have some, yeah, discussions about that, and go, yeah, you always go back to the reference material. Mm-hmm. And for me, it, it's it's being a you know you have to be a little bit obsessed. You have uh-huh. to you have to dive in feet first. You have to really immerse yourself in it. And yeah, and hopefully that pays dividends when you come you know come to finishing the game and making it feel right. Um, and we didn't yeah we didn't want to just make any game. We wanted to make the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. We mm-hmm. wanted it to feel like the 1973 movie. We wanted you know the place to feel that heat and grime and um somebody somebody um who played it recently for the first time uh commented on its stickiness um oh. they, they uh-huh. were, they, yeah mm. and it, is, it is the fact that mm, yeah that you were they were standing in a room uh, in leatherface's lair in the family house where you've got all the carcasses and bits of people hanging up um and yeah, they were very much a case of yeah, I'd love how it feels sticky and hot and yes, dirty. And it's like, sticky, yeah, sticky, yeah, so that's, warm yeah, that's, summer kind of yeah. Yeah, because I mean, you hear the tales of what you know, and we've I've again been blessed to meet uh, Ed Neal and Alan Danzinger from uh, so who were cool. in the, the original movie, and you ask them to like, what did it fit? You know, what are the stories true about how the uh, the chicken room smelled? Yeah, and, all that sort of, and that, oh, that, yeah, no. it's all true. Oh, <laughs> it's like gosh. it's like it's, rotting it's, meat. Oh, the, yeah, it was just apparently, yeah, the heat, the smell, the mm-hmm. yeah, yeah like it was just lighting. horrendous. Yeah, it's, oh my god, go back. Um, yeah, I love this this yeah. this lighting right here. You get this like evening red because that you know it's something that like the the look of of the movie. You know, Daniel Pearl's cinematography Cinematography there's something that's part of the reason i love it so much is it's so there's something about that film quality like the grain it's a very warm movie like the colors um just it's very kind of hazy and and like the the visual quality of that movie is just unbeatable and you can really tell here with just the way the light kind of filters through everything and yeah even coming through those windows you get that perfect yeah. evening red it's it's really nice yeah freddie freddie and jack and kelvin did an, an incredible job on the lighting of because i mean i can still remember early builds like playing with very bare bones lighting or even no no lighting um on it and it's just the sheer difference of once mm-hmm. you've got that in uh, same with the audio i mean ross tregenza's soundtrack is is unbelievable the audio mm-hmm. in this game um and you know so the very early days of, of prototyping and you're, you're sitting there wondering oh are we actually getting this right are we are we getting the feel right and then as soon as those elements come in it just ties it all together and you're just, yeah we you know we were fairly confident we'd managed to to you know find the fun or capture capture what we uh what we wanted to uh with the game so but it, it it's a massive team effort i mean these things are are just yeah huge team effort and the team have worked yeah quite frankly worked their asses off to uh uh to get the game uh you know as you see it yeah you can tell were were you involved with the performances at all i'm sorry i got uh, i just got to interject real fast and say right. i believe my teammates 
have tried to kill me on uh <laughs> <laughs> so no, that no, leads no. me to believe that i am not the uh least experienced one on my team which is a bad sign or you're well, <laughs> yeah. no so, i was gonna say or you're was... doing a bad job but that's not true you're doing a good job on Thanks, no okay so i mean when you're running around you're excited with a chainsaw i mean one he, moving on the best but... of us yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't just like a run by like swipey. He like came it back still happens. to me. It still happens in the playtest we have at Sumo. Uh, you you come around a corner and suddenly like, oh god, no, it's me. It's fine. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, you get excited when you're wielding that chainsaw. Uh, Fair, it's all yeah. good. But uh, yeah, I mean, as I was saying earlier, it, it, it's at this point in the game, it's it's very much a uh, you are trying to effectively lock down areas it's very much area control as far as the family's concerned so you mm -hmm. want to be running between the exit doors making sure they're all still locked because if they're all locked you know that the uh, the victims are still contained within the central area okay um, if one of those is doors this is an open, exit door uh yep okay. and it's wide open it is it. but i think i opened it actually maybe uh, earlier well, on uh, if so you that... can close it if you can close it and lock it okay uh, then then you will know that it's a family member that's opened it if the lock is broken you will know that a victim has gone through it. Okay. So actually you can so you can still lock it. Yes, so I unless it. now yes. there is an exception to that rule because we don't save you from yourselves. So obviously if you <laughs> open that door and left it wide open uh -huh. and a victim happens to walk through, all you've done now is lock the lock the victim in that room or in that building. Okay. So you know that's one of the the things is making sure that yeah you've you we've built systemic things like you know the locks and doors and things like that that yeah, we don't. We try not to save you from yourselves because it adds to the dysfunctional family feel. Yeah. Of uh, mm -hmm. you know, it's like what look what your brother did yep. to the door. You know, <laughs> what your brother did to that door. All of that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> one of my favorite lines from the movie. Oh, Brilliant. me too. Yeah. Um, That's something I wonder if you know because you've had to watch it so many times, and it's something yeah. that I love about the first one. And trying to explain this to other people, people sometimes look at me like I'm insane. I think it has such a twisted great sense of humor there's something so funny about that first movie in like kind of a demented way it's just the family dynamic yeah i mean the, the family dynamic can have some uh yeah you, you can see some comedic value in there i mean yeah. i i always describe the movie as a pressure cooker uh -huh. um because i mean it starts and yeah it starts off you know fairly calm and just it just ramps up tension and you know keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and keeps going and it's only at that that very final release uh when sally gets away that you kind of the pressure is lifted mm -hmm. and it's again one of the one of the things we wanted to try and incorporate into the game is that uh certainly playing as a victim is that feeling of tension yeah i'm just yeah. like you know you're you're you know you are intentionally underpowered you can't you know you can't do much to stop the family from uh apart from hide i love and to be stealthy oh, sorry no, that's okay um, I love, too, that you incorporated the weird kind of astrology of the movie. Uh, you know, in the van, she, uh, we, we, uh, it's not yeah, Sally. Pam. Oh, my gosh, I forget. Yeah, is Pam. Pam, thank yeah. you. Pam is yeah. reading her this astrology book. And yeah. that kind of era, um, especially in America, like astrology and superstition was kind of, you know, uh, like popular like the you know age of aquarius kind of uh you know hippie but this is like you know texas chainsaw starting to get to like the dark underbelly of that era of of american pop culture and who i i'm wondering like when or who came up with the idea to incorporate the astrological element because i thought that was so clever <laughs> yeah that's a uh... I'm just trying to remember, <laughs> remember three years ago. Now. I know, yes, it probably so, was I mean, a while ago. Oof. Yeah, so we'd we'd mentioned. I mean, the thing is, it, it's not just in. Obviously, I mean, we looked at the uh, where we're talking about victims having star sign abilities. Yeah, uh, and things like that. So, uh, yeah, we we knew that no. it, uh, it was a theme. So um, I remember talking with uh, Julia, uh, our UI um, UI artist and UI lead, um, and she was talking very much about themes of. Uh, circles and astrology and mm -hmm. moons and and uh, and that, I believe we've had several conversations with again with Ronnie uh, Ronnie Hobbs the creative director at Gun uh, saying that yeah I mean he was saying this is a big theme in the game this is a big thing can you you know other ways to incorporate it mm -hmm. and that's then the yeah, part of our job to think well what, yeah what does it actually mean what yeah what does it actually uh, mean to have astrology in this game and 
that side of things. It's like, okay, yeah. Yeah, what if what if we did lean a little bit into that and each one has a, you know, a, I guess, a, a, you know, not to call out a Zodiac sign, but each one mm-hmm. has a, <laughs> you know, a, a kind of a leaning towards certain things. Um, and we we refer to that as their star sign. So, and <laughs> then their star sign ability. It's like um, we see the, the skill tree. Uh, there was a conversation we had where we were discussing the fact that these are all different fated paths that they could go on mm-hmm. it's like a, you know so the reason we have several different paths that you can pick is so that you can unlock the potential of your you know of your character um but each one is a potential path um because again each each game is a almost could be viewed as a potential timeline um it's like well what happened what was the fate of this character in this particular story and mm-hmm. each match is, is that story replayed again and again and again um, yeah. Of, yeah. What What was their fate? And it was that tagline of uh, the, uh, yeah, who will survive who will and survive. what will be left of them? Uh-huh. Yeah. And it's like, yeah, what is left of of the people that live? What is, yeah, what can they take away from this? Yeah. Um, and... So it's playing into, yeah, all all trying to play into that, and you just have several conversations, and then somebody goes, you know what? Yeah, it's this. This is this is how we should do it. Yeah. But there's, but it, it flows through. I mean, you'll see um, circles are a bit. I mean, as you, there you go, perfectly timed. Uh, circles are a big element in parts of the game. So looking at the sun, looking at you know mm-hmm. certain aspects of the um, of the movie. Yes, there's all these uh, uh, like match cuts. You've got like the sun with like headlights, no. and there's all. Yeah. It's like the 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 movie. There's a lot of yeah circular imagery and this idea of like time and like the cosmos. That's why I think it's so yeah. cool that the game incorporates that because I you can tell yeah. everyone who made the game understands that there is such a deep like once you scratch the surface of this movie, it's so much more than just guy with a chainsaw chasing a bunch of oh, kids. Yeah. It's it's incredibly layered and um, I mean Toby Hooper was a very intelligent filmmaker and and that's why it's why i love it so much there's so much to kind of like dissect when you look at the story beyond the surface yeah. level i mean there are layers i mean there's the you know it's like um i guess the what's the the entropy of uh of kind of i guess 1950s 60s america into what became the 70s and, and early 80s and mm-hmm. all that sort of stuff you know the economic uh, climate of the time is is kind of mentioned in there. There's there's nuance in in that movie. Which, yeah, uh, yeah. You just have to kind of yeah pick pick which bits you uh, yeah yeah and... which we take from and or which bits you notice. I've yeah it's yeah. amazing. It's amazing. I mean, you start watching it from like if you've never seen it before, you start watching it. It's like oh, yeah, it's about a group of kids who you know come into contact with the a family of killers. And yeah, after you've watched it for the five hundredth time, it's all like. <laughs> Actually, it's a film about uh, a bunch of kids who home invade yes. um, a, a, poor tr- a poor troubled uh, you know, guy in his, minding his own business in his own home. Yes, and, a, a uh, family and who's he's just, dealing he's with just their jobs the being re- slowly replaced by exactly. uh, industrialization. Yeah, <laughs> and, and you know, they're just fighting to survive and, and, and maintain their way of life. I mean... They've got some unusual dietary uh, choices there, <laughs> and, I, and I can't say I'd go around there for dinner. But, but you know, you can suddenly start understanding. It's like, I think there was certainly a point in the project where, yeah, you, you sit there and you go, actually, I think I understand the family's point of view uh-huh. in this. And uh, yeah, all right, I'm 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 with Leatherface on this one. <laughs> you know. That's what kind of makes it a fun choice for one yeah. of these like asymmetrical games, I think, is it's it's not so cut and dry like good guys, bad guys. I mean, obviously, you know, look, we all know that the, the Sawyers are cannibals. We, we don't endorse cannibalism on Dead Beat, but <laughs> there is something, especially Leatherface is very sympathetic. And yeah, like it is yeah. when you think about it, it is a home invasion movie, but it's... <laughs> A bunch of kids just <laughs> showing up well, at their yeah. house. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I've, I've said to uh, the, several people I've spoken to about it. It's, it's just a case of, well, yeah, if I walked onto somebody's property in Texas and just walked into their house, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know, would, would I be greeted in in a kind of the same way? Like I mean, if, would I? Would, I mean, you'd would, hope not, but <laughs> I'd hope not. I mean, one 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 very lovely person who is actually from Texas said, well, actually, if you walked into my grandma's house, you'd be greeted with cake. 
and, uh, <laughs> and and actually you know you would she wouldn't let you leave until you'd had dinner sure. and it's like Aww. okay that's lovely definitely a coin flip <laughs> but uh, yeah exactly but i mean but i guess the point is that, yeah there are definitely nuances mm -hmm. to the movie hopefully we've managed to capture a few of them in the Absolutely, game yeah. and uh and yeah and and give everyone a a really cool experience of yeah life as as one of the uh, the slaughter family or uh, or you know an experience of trying to escape after you know being caught Oh, that's right. Yes, they are the Slaughter family at this point in oh, the this right. point. series. Yeah, yes, the Sawyers, uh, that's not their name until the second one, correct? That's true. Yeah. yeah. Uh, let's do another little push for uh, for special effect. Yes. I posted oh, the definitely. Tiltify link in the chat. So again, special effect, wonderful group that makes uh, accommodations for people with physical disabilities to game. Uh, everything from specialized joysticks to it's still the thing that blows my mind the most is the eye tracking, eye -tracking ability really thing because cool. like you know if you lose your ability to use your uh arms or even legs like you would think that closes off so many doors but now with technology being able mm -hmm. to to help with that that's so cool you were mentioning that on the update earlier james weren't you the about eye gaze yeah because there's there's so much if you don't mind me waxing lyrical for please, a second please there's do. so much you know more about than me <laughs> so much cool stuff that you can do with eye gaze so as you were saying like for people with uh, sort of physical disabilities or you know limitations where it's easier to use your eyes there is a lot you can do um, and there's a lot of games that can be hooked up to to work with eye gaze because it essentially replaces the mouse function and then you can use things either called dwell time so how long your eyes stay fixed on a certain point to click or you can blink there's loads of different ways you can set it up um, but there's a couple of projects a special effect actually worked on to do with eye gaze to make some accessible games so there's a website called eye gaze games which is free games that special effects have developed alongside some game devs um, which you can use eye trackers for. So you've got loads of stuff like sort of chests and snakes and ladders and Othello and things like that. Um, and then you just play those worldwide. You can use a mouse and keyboard if you want to, but it means if you're playing with someone who's physically disabled, you can still do multiplayer, which I love. But my favorite thing is called iMine, because could you ever imagine playing Minecraft with your eyes? That'd be amazing. That's because cool. you can. Wow. <laughs> because you can. And it's so honestly, some of the builds I've seen from people that have played Minecraft with iMine, which is a it's a sort of a free app that goes on top of Minecraft to work with eye trackers. It it's stuff that I couldn't even build using a full keyboard layout and a mouse sat like completely in front of my monitor and like And they're, they're doing it with just their eyes through their, motions yeah. and like you said blinking and, and what different yep. timing of blinking and everything. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Yep. And then there's there's different setups. You've got like the basic one, you've got medium one, you've got like the advanced setup for how good you are. So you know, if you're wanting to build redstone monstrosities you're probably going to want the advanced setup but if you just want to go about and punch some trees you probably want the basic one <laughs> and it's it's so so cool um and it's one of those things that when you are good with eye control you can often be faster than you were using like a mouse and keyboard because the timing That's once so you've got cool. it eye tracking is it's it's so so cool so this um, is something if i wanted to try this i could just like i'm it, it's I can easily yep. access it and absolutely yeah That's you can really get cool. loads of different trackers online and then most of the software that goes with games is free some of it you can set up yourself some of it like people like special effects set up and then it's provided on the website for free but yeah all you need is the tracker itself what i it's... think is is cool is because it's made so accessible I could see even, you know, gamers who don't necessarily need something like that. It's still such a cool way to experience something. And mm -hmm. I think and maybe maybe you've even seen this happen is maybe people realizing, oh, this is a fun way to play this. And like you said, it's even faster in some instances. And that kind of interest in something from people who don't even necessarily need it is probably ultimately beneficial like it's gonna get more and more people invested in that kind of tech and i think it, it's really neat that maybe something that was at first meant to be kind of an aid to uh someone who needs it just becomes another way to play 
gaming and and you know maybe i don't know do you find that maybe it helps it feel not so uh exclusive like oh i have to play Mm -hmm. something this way instead it's like oh this is just a different way to play a game Oh, 100 percent i think that's the thing with accessibility that people don't tend to think of is that Mm -hmm. you don't have to be disabled to use accessible measures and you probably benefit them like benefit from them without thinking about it Mm -hmm. so if you watch a movie and you put the subtitles on that's accessibility because maybe you might find that you've not caught what they've said and so being able to read it means you can enjoy that film so much more on the first time watching yeah Mm -hmm. same with you know same with a game you might find that you know what the fov just isn't quite right if i widen it it'll feel more comfortable mm-hmm. you've used essentially an accessibility option um and if you see an option and you don't know why it's there it just probably wasn't made for you but it was made for somebody that has that access need mm-hmm. so it's very much about ability and you don't have to be disabled to have it but having those means that there are so so many like hundreds of thousands more gamers that get to game because there are those options and it's it's great and it means that one of my my favorite little stories because special effects works with a lot of people literally i think in the last year we've worked with people from age like two to 80 Mm -hmm. which is super cool gamers of all different ages and my favorite at the minute is a a young girl her name is davina davina is amazing because she got in touch she's got cerebral palsy and one of her arms is weaker than the other Mm -hmm. um so she needs to use her feet to play and i believe she's doing some racing games and stuff like rocket league Okay. So oh, she's cool. got she's got pedals like a car, and then she's got her joysticks and buttons like larger buttons to make it much easier to use without you know more dexterity in her hand. And her entire reason for coming to us for help was well, she just wanted to kick her brother's ass. <laughs> <laughs> she's yes. like, my family are competitive, yeah. and I want to win. I'm like, you know what? I am so with you right now. Absolutely, we, we need to help you win, and just oh. Uh, I love I love that so much, but it, it brings families back together. She has the access needs. They are then able to play with their sibling and everyone gets to have fun. I just, I love it. That's great. Yes, I love yeah. it. I think people often maybe don't think of the very human reasons that mm. someone may want something to be accessible. It's It's like, yes, it's a sense of feeling included, but it's also, no, I have a personal uh, score I need to settle <laughs> uh, against my brother. Like, I, th- I just think that's such a wonderful human side of, of that. Oh, exactly. And it's, it is it is so cool. And there's so many games, uh, especially when you are disabled. So, I mean, you probably can't hear by telling, but I am a disabled gamer. I work purely remotely because it's not safe for me to go into an office, mm-hmm. um, which is why video calls and things like that are so cool. Um, but in a video game, you're determined by how good you are at that game, not by what your accessibility is. So so many people, when we've got them set up with kits, are competing and mm-hmm. getting into really cool gameplay and really are blowing other people out of the water because they then suddenly have what they need to be able to do so. And it's super, super fun. Yeah. And we're seeing that a lot more. So many games have got really cool accessible options. Everything from physical accessibility and motor accessibility to for people who are like deaf, people who are blind, people who have color blindness. There's options for so many more things and so many more games and the fact it's becoming into like more of the the public consciousness is amazing like i know james for your favorite game sea of thieves right oh yeah <laughs> absolutely sea of thieves seems, uh, <laughs> they do so much with accessibility and it's super super cool and i love that it's not it's not just a oh we put it in so that's enough they keep going back to it and keep adding to it as more gets learned and that's it's great it's like you wouldn't go back and be like you know what i'm gonna just keep using this really old film camera unless it's for stylistic purposes to make this movie it's just you know i just it's just easier than learning something new it's like no go and learn something new make something better and then go from there Mm -hmm. yeah i mean from a game design point of view as well it's it's something that is always you know a conversation it's always something that yeah we're always trying to strive to make better um you know and yeah it's it's just the more we can do the better you know to make gaming for everyone because you know there's nothing as you said nothing like the connectivity um that you can get through through gaming with other people Mm -hmm. um i mean i'm reminded of one through many years ago um when Paige and i worked together um of yeah a story about uh, a little kid who i can't remember his name and i apologize for that but uh he all he wanted to do was be able to sit and play a computer game i think and i, I think it was like uh, yeah being able to play fifa or something like that with his brother and and obviously he couldn't at the time and special effect made that happen and honestly you needed a mascara i mean i don't wear mascara but 
if I did, you'd need a mascara warning to to watch the video of this uh-huh. kid talking about <laughs> just talking about playing with his brother. Honestly, I'm I'm tearing up almost now thinking about it because yeah. he's it was just um, not just unbelievably cute, but you could just see what it meant to him mm-hmm. when you know. And I think there was a video of him playing FIFA with his brother for the very first time, and he scored a goal, and it was just like, yeah, this kid's world had just you know yeah. expanded. And yeah, and amazing. I bet it just so, goes so far to just make them feel included and like, uh, like yeah. normal in big air quotes, but just like le- less yeah. inhibited by their their condition yeah. and situation. Yeah, yeah. And Which, it was just. I mean, he, I think his reason was I just want to play a game with my brother. Yeah, mm-hmm. exactly. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You mentioned um, like blind accommodations. What what can what are those like? Oh, goodness. So special effect mostly focuses on physical accommodations, okay. but I do know a bit about blind accommodations. I would say if you want to see some really cool stuff that's going on around uh, accommodating for blind players, you want to go towards stuff like the Forza games, um, which is absolutely fantastic. A lot of it will rely on things like haptic feedback from the controller. So, you know, if a controller vibrates a oh, certain way or a certain Forza's amount. Forza is a that... racing game. Yes. Yeah. So, okay. Yes. okay. Yeah, I could see how that could work yeah yeah okay. so I, I believe it works sort of if you're deviating away from like the sort of the the line that you're on it will rumble a bit more so you know like oh i need to go a bit more to you know to the left or to the right or i need to you know actually steer around this corner and then it will use audio cues as well to give you feedback on exactly where you're placing mm-hmm. which is super super cool obviously you will have games that will give you things like aim assist as well to help out but yeah it, i believe it mostly works on if one of your senses isn't doing it for you and you can't use it to play the game use the other senses mm-hmm. it's just it's super super cool i was told by someone in the chat to pick anna so i'm going to any <laughs> any tips Which here voice by spell um, i always forget so anna's ability lets her tank some damage for a short amount of time so if you're getting hit by yeah multiple uh multiple family or just taking a lot of damage just pop the rb button and uh, do that. uh what if your pc what button is that oh sorry uh that's a very good question <laughs> <laughs> is it just like right click is that the special uh, bit? possibly yes okay yes. hang on i'm i'm actually going to check this because i've got the game running in front of me so oh, no. <laughs> um, rather than get it wrong uh yes it is right, right click, click on the mouse got it cool so yeah use your ability on that and um, so I what will so... that do if i'm getting hit by the family uh, members i right click just it allow you to tank some of the damage, so it's it's a damage multi- uh, modifier, so you'll okay. take less damage cool. uh, for a very short amount of time. Um, also, I mean, general tip is move slowly, move carefully, okay. stick to the shadows, and as Ed Neal says, hold your nerve. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. Oh my gosh, getting to work with Ed Neal is so cool. Yeah, it was it was really cool. Oh. Just yeah. When when Gunn said, you know, it's like, oh, so who are we going to get to uh, to do the hitchhiker voice? Because it's a very recognize. He's got a very recognizable voice. Yeah. And 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 Ronnie just goes, Ed Neal. <laughs> yeah, just, just casually easy, throws. Easy. Why not? Just casually uh-huh. throws it out there. So, oh yeah, we got Ed Neal. It's like what? It's like, yeah, we got we, we, got, we got Ed Neal. Like, what do you mean we got we got Ed Neal? Uh, what do you mean? <laughs> yeah. So he, yeah, we, it was just like okay, so we got we got the original hitchhiker. That's that's awesome. That's did, amazing. Did he do any mocap? Or just voice uh, work? No, the, the mocap was was done by uh, one of the other actors. Got it. Um, okay. So uh, yeah, it is uh, no, but he did he did the voice for for Hitchhiker and some other bits and pieces for us, um, which was just just awesome, cool, and yeah, you know, as I said, getting to meet some of these guys who you know it's like a dream come true. Yeah. I mean, I, I still, I mean, one of my, I guess, name dropping moments is yeah, you know, again <laughs> at the te- at the Texas event, having. Kane Hodder walk up to you and say, "Yeah, look at the game. Look at you and say you done good, kid." <laughs> I mean, I'm 46. <laughs> Kane Hodder can call me kid all he likes. Yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, w- I wouldn't argue with the man anyway. No, yeah. uh, you know he's Jason Voorhees. He's Leatherface. I mean, but having Leatherface tell you you've you know you done good was just like, all right, that's that's that bucket list ticked. Uh, <laughs> oh. What's what's next? Oh um, fuck. Yeah. Oh, oh. It it never gets old Fun meeting actors who played the big oh god like horror, you know, 
villains, yeah, run, monsters. You get they're, out of there. They're, I feel like 99% of the time they are just gentle giants and it feels, there's something about it that's like really yeah. special. Oh yeah. He's, Meeting he's, those he's, guys. He's, he's definitely, he's got a, that presence yeah. to him. But he's, yeah, I mean, he's a lovely guy. Yeah. Uh, Kane Hodder um, definitely feels like someone yeah. where you're like, oh my gosh, I just wish you, he's someone where you're, you, you want him to like, go beat up the kids at school that are mean to you. You know, he's got such <laughs> like a very, he just is very kind and, yeah. you know. Yeah. Yeah. No, he's, he's a great guy. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I mean, again. Uh, you asked earlier if I had anything to do with the the motion capture uh -huh. uh, side of things. Unfortunately, I wasn't one of the the people lucky enough to go. Uh, oh, okay. our, uh, our design director Kelvin Moore and uh, lead animator Andy Murray uh, were uh, lucky enough to to go uh, over to LA mm -hmm. and um, and be part of the the motion capture shoots with uh, I think Ronnie Hobbs and um, and Rob Fox from Gun. Mm -hmm. um, and yeah, we've got some great footage. But yeah, just seeing you know. Seeing all these things you've had in your head acted out, <laughs> you know, actually acted out and go, okay, this, yeah, this is, oh yeah, it's just absolutely crazy to, yeah. I mean, I keep, I always have to kick myself, oh but, but I make games for a living, you know, oh, no. it's like people pay me to do this, you know, it's, <laughs> it's a, it's an absolute blessing. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, oh no. Oh, 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 no, oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> See. Oh. Oh, I should, oh, I oh dang. Yeah. That's, yeah, yeah. I love I that think, he's I even, don't think he's coming back from that. He's even got his gross little pouch and What do you what do you just <laughs> yeah. take from me? I don't want a speck. Uh, Get out of here. That would have been that I think with that particular execution that would have been your ear. Yeah, looked like it. The, the, Lovely. The, I'm just yeah. going to sacrifice the very uh low XP that I <laughs> Yeah. I mean Talking about Kane Holder, Steve, didn't he sign yeah. the puppet? He has signed the puppet. Yes, yeah, he has signed the puppet. Do we talk about the puppet? Well, yeah. I what's don't, yeah. I don't know if we're able to show you the puppet or not on camera. Oh, are you? Uh, uh, yeah. Do you have? We've, do we've have got video, cameras. I, I do have video capability. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'll, I'll have to. I'll have to wake him up. We have the technology. Oh, did I did I just sound really British though? Like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, you've sounded extremely British the whole time. Well, yeah. <laughs> Vex, don't lie to me. Vex said I'm doing just fine. I'm, no, I'm not. No, you're, you're doing so good, hon. <laughs> a few pointers, honestly. You'll Please. Be fine. Yeah. <laughs> but but as I said, well, with victims, move slowly, mm -hmm. hold your nerve, stick to the shadows, and move in a considered way. Do not run around like a headless chicken, because you will become a headless chicken. A headless chicken. <laughs> <laughs> and we just... And Leatherface and other characters have yeah. chicken detection abilities. They do. That's I know that's do. not what that's yeah. for, but it might as well you be. You, yeah, if you think if you think Nugget is your friend, Nugget is not your friend. Is Nugget the chicken? <laughs> Nugget is the chicken. Is yeah. Oh, Nugget! <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Nugget is what I called the Albert Cub in Baldur's Gate 3 as well. No! As soon as you first get him during Chicken Chase. Yes. <laughs> right, hang on. I'm just going to... So this is where I have to operate my mouse left hand. I'll be right back. All right, and I'm sending the link to the Tiltify if you guys want to help contribute to special effect, which is what the stream is for. Let's at least uh, try to get to 2K here. Oh, I mean, honestly, I, so special effects, we don't receive any gov governmental funds or anything. We are purely funded by fundraisers and oh. supporters, which means that whether you can or you cannot donate, your support is amazing. If you cannot donate, do not feel bad. Do not worry. Literally telling somebody about the stream or the puppet competition or telling some other people about the charity itself, because it might be that you tell somebody and we're able to help that person play a game. And that means just as much to us as the funds that you raise. But the funds that you raise then help us go and help other people. So we are thankful for everyone's support in whichever way you are able to show it. Like, it's it's absolutely incredible. I get choked up every time I talk about it, to be honest. Uh, so apparently OBS isn't, uh, let me hear this, like white square isn't good, but <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm going to move you guys onto the screen so that we can see this puppet here. Oh, here we go. Okay. I'll hide myself. Oh my goodness. Yes. Oh, look at this puppet. Oh. So what's the deal with this puppet? Oh my God. I love um, him. So, so, um... Basically, one of my other... Oh, you got a lot of puppets of, back there. I do, yeah. One of my hobbies is... Um, I, I, I grew up with the Muppet Show. Um, I'm 
I love the work of Jim Henson. I I wish I I wish I could have done that as something I did for a living. But I I make puppets in my spare time. I make soft toys, and uh, working on on uh, on Texas, I thought, well, maybe I could make a leather face puppet. I'd, I'd made a couple of chainsaws uh, for our office, so we've got you know, <laughs> chainsaws, and and I thought, yeah, I would I would make um, try and make a, a leather face puppet, and this this little fella here. Uh, little the yeah, puppet face was born, and uh, I love we him took. So much. Uh, he was he was um, going to be just some something that hang around the office for a bit, and then we took him to Texas with us again. I, I know I keep mentioning it, but it was a big thing. And at the event, if I can hang on, hold your chainsaw out the way. I have to switch <laughs> um, the game and here. Your tie, and your tie. So we went oh, round cool. and got signature. Oh, so that's that. amazing. So speaking of Kane, yep. we have Kane Hodder. Oh, that's so cool. Uh, we have Kim Henkel. Nice. Oh, wow. Writer. Co-writer, uh, yep. Yep, co-writer. Uh, we have real fast, sorry. Ed, Ed Neal. <laughs> Ed Neal. Oh, my God. Uh, nice. We have Alan Danzinger. Amazing. There. There's a uh, lot of signatures there. Ronnie Hobbs, who's the creative director. Kelvin Tua, our art director, is there. Uh, I've got Scout on here somewhere. Scout. Aww. We love Scout. Uh, love Scout. I've got I've got Hunter in there as well. Uh, yeah. I think you got Damien as well. I've got Damien. I've got Troy, who, played, who did the motion capture for the um, for the cook. Um, so yeah, we've basically got, and um, I've signed it as well. And we'll get some other people from from uh, yeah, got other people from Sumo to to sign it. And um, yeah, got me tie bait. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, and yeah, we thought, well, you know, we've we've got this wonderful thing. Uh, from the game, and maybe some horror fans may like this. I'm not making another one. So it, it <laughs> this really, is one of a kind. Really one, one of a kind. kind. One of a kind. Yeah, Leatherface puppet, uh, with including fluffy chainsaw, <laughs> uh, and all and all the signatures on the apron. And somebody may want to do that. And we got in touch with Paige and uh, Special Effects and said, "Hey, we've got this daft puppet. <laughs> do you think uh, people would be interested in?" Uh, in kind of maybe donating to special effect so that they could go in a prize draw and win this little bad boy. Yes. So yes. How, so, how can people yeah. be entered into a drawing? To are, are people automatically entered when they donate or is there... So what we have is we have a Just Giving page set up for this and I can make sure you've got the link. I don't think I can post links in the chat because that would be very naughty, but I can make <laughs> sure that you have it. And it's on Twitter on both uh, James's and Special Effects and Nottingham Sumo's accounts. Mm -hmm. But it's a Just Giving page you're looking for. And we wanted to make it really fair because we didn't just want it to be the, the richest fan gets it, essentially. Yeah. So it's a Just Giving page. You donate however much you would like. So I think the minimum is about $2 that you can donate. And then in the box that you get when you donate, you answer the question, who played Leatherface in the original uh, Texas Chainsaw Massacre film? No, no, I'm not giving you the answer now. Uh -huh. If you don't know it, I'm very sad. <laughs> uh, and you have to enter that in. And then everyone that submitted the correct answer on, I believe, November 9th, uh, we, they will be drawn and a random winner will be picked so that everyone has a fair chance. You can Excellent. donate a hundred times, you still get one entry. Okay. Just because we looked at this cool puppet and was like, there is never going to be another puppet like this with this collection of signatures again, ever. And we want it to go to a fan who wants to support charity as well. So that's that's what we've got going on. And uh, yeah, it's it's so cool. And thank you so much, Steve. I, I, I love your puppets. I still have a Junimo that you made me from Stardew Valley. Um, <laughs> oh my gosh, and I, I, I love, love Stardew Valley. That. I love him. Yeah, yeah he made me yeah. an apple Junimo. He's very cute. The, the, yeah. There are, uh, yeah. <laughs> There are probably one or two of, of yeah bits and pieces of things I've left <laughs> around the games industry um, of yeah bits and pieces, but uh, but no, he's very special. And with the signatures, <laughs> uh, I mean, I think I think actually uh, James, you put it in your tweet. I mean, it's signed by Horror Royalty. Yeah. Quite yeah. Frankly. Yeah. Um, so yeah, if, if you can donate, please do. If you know the answer to the question. Um, you know who who played Leatherface in the which original 73 movie, which you should, if especially if you're watching this channel. <laughs> uh, exactly. If not, just just go and uh, go and watch the uh, the the kill count. It might tell you in that. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and 
we'll draw draw a name out of the hat once we've done that, and um, this this little fella will come and live with you. Excellent. I'd be very sad to see him go because you know. Yeah. yeah. I, I know he just he seems so sweet. He is <laughs> such a he's little He's very handsome. He's a very handsome little dude, and yeah. I mean, if if the, the face. Mask, if I the didn't mask know you can you. take the mask off. You can take the mask off. You can. Yeah. Oh yeah, my gosh. It, it's it. We look. I look. Like, Talking about authenticity, so now I looked at how the original mask was was tied on, and you know where the stitching is. <laughs> oh my god! It's gosh. not. I mean, it's not meant to be a one-to-one recreation, but it's like you know. I went back. I went back to um, the prop masks. We've got. <laughs> I'm lucky. I had access to photographs of the prop mask. Yeah. Oh, that so, so, so cool. I could look at it and go, "All right, how did they put that together?" Could you? Oh, okay, they did that. <laughs> Could you peel back the mask again so people can yeah. see it? Yeah. Now you're go. on screen. Oh, God. So, oh, my God. I love him so <laughs> much. So that's what Leatherface looks like underneath that's there. Yeah, he's just a guy. Yeah. Very pale. <laughs> yeah, the lighting's not, not flattering. I mean, oh. let's face it. You know, but, um, you can put red lippy and it'll be absolutely fine. Well, that, yeah, that would be a different mask. <laughs> Oh yeah, you need the ones with like the makeup on it. The pretty yeah, woman. Yeah, yeah. yeah, the pretty lady mask. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, dude, your ears are just gonna have to stay out for a bit. All right. Yeah, oh, ears oh. like an ear flap. Oh, my ears. <laughs> I love the fluffy chainsaw the most. Yeah. I think it's just so. Did good. you make a big one? Did you make uh, a big chainsaw? There is a yeah. There is a, a an oversized fluffy chainsaw in our office as well. Oh my but god. That was that was my. Hey, I've joined this project. What? What thing can I make? Uh, and then this this guy was, hey, we're nearing completion. <laughs> what thing can I make? Yeah. Because um, uh -huh. yeah, if I'm not making video games, I have to I have to make stuff. Um, it's a it's a compulsion. All right, you're going to bed now, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wave bye bye to the people. Bye. There we go. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you, Vex, and thank you, Matt K, go. and thank you, Jacob and Mel and Jason. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, Jacob and Mel and Chase Friedman, I believe. Name's cut off, but thank you. Oh, thank Latest you, Latest donations, That's so yeah. Kind. Up to 1,800, could we get just... Get in there. Could we wow. get to that 2K? Could we get 180 more from people? While, while I just flounder in this game? <laughs> you're, you're doing great, huh? I was, I was final girl. <laughs> None of us made it out of the basement that last one. That was real bad. Right. Yeah. yeah. Well, what if so... Steve joined you to help... Guys. Please, can you? Oh. Is there a way to join a specific you... server? Uh, well, can you no, out? we could we could uh, join a party. Oh hey. yeah, let's, let's join a party. Yeah, you could, you could, <laughs> you could, I could join you if you want to send me a a, a party code. Okay. Sweet. Uh, I wouldn't share. Yeah, you know, don't necessarily, don't necessarily <laughs> stream on, on stream. Yeah, code. yeah, yeah. Let me, uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go full screen for the. Uh, we get some Molly content Molly. while I create a party. I can. She smells so good. I know. She just got shampooed and blow dried. Just so soft. Yeah, this is our little Muppet. <laughs> uh huh. Okay, I just sent you the code. Did you get that? That's right. Yeah, everyone's been watching me. They know how I play. Let's find out how Steve does. <laughs> do, you, do you feel any shame when you play this game and randos on the internet do better than you? <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yeah, you're you're getting obliterated, you know, online, and it's it's part and parcel. It's happened on pretty much every <laughs> multiplayer game I've ever worked on. Um, I think they might have lost guest audio. Yeah, I I switched I'm over sure to a scene. That, I just fixed it. I think. 
Wow. Okay, so now that we're in a party, okay. do I just hit quick match? Is that uh, all? Yeah, if you just hit quick match, I should be dragged along with you into uh, <laughs> into the team. You're going to have to carry me, people said. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fine. Do you and, mind if uh, I answer a question from the chat quickly? Oh, please. please. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> So uh, Elise earlier was just asking if special effects are UK based or worldwide, and it's a bit of both. So we are based in the UK, and a lot of the stuff we do with physical setups and disabled gamers is in the UK because that way we're able to physically get to people and to you know actually get them set up with all the control systems and show them how everything works. But there is a lot of stuff that we do worldwide, which I think is pretty cool, and it's cool that Steve's here as well because it does pertain to game dev. Um, so special effects have been a charity for. I think this is our 16th year, so for quite a while. Um, and it started out of just the, the love of helping people enjoy technology. Our CEO was a, was a teacher and essentially um, was asked by people, my kids are able to access tech at school, but when they get home, they're bored. What can they do? And he went, I don't know, but I'm going to figure it out. And then that's how we got here. But over that time, we've amassed like tons of knowledge as to how games work and accessibility works and what motor accessibility features you can have in a game. And so one of the things that we do have, which is a worldwide resource, which is, again, completely free, special effect, don't charge for resources or anything, is called DevKit, mm -hmm. um, which is a series of YouTube videos, uh, essentially, and hosted on the DevKit website, which is a free resource for all game devs to teach you how motor accessibility works and to give you examples from games. So if you are making games, whether you're doing, you know, doing it as part of a AAA studio or you're an indie or you're just learning in your bedroom how to make your first little game, you can use that to sort of understand how you can put in accessibility from the ground floor up and build it oh, in cool. instead of add it on, which is super, super cool. And then we do uh, what's called game access as well. So with games, when they come out, often people want to know what does it have in it accessibility wise before I buy it. Um, and so we have a team that gets new games, they check them all out, and then we make videos and guides to all of the different bits that are in the games and how you can use them. So that's just a couple of the things that we have that are worldwide, plus the iGay stuff that we talked about earlier. Um, and if we can give information out, we always will do. So, Those are such said, good resources. I love that. The, honestly, the team that make them... So I'm from our, our communications team, essentially, which is why I get to come and talk to wonderful people like yourselves. But the people that do all the stuff like with games are basically wizards in my eyes. I have no idea how they do what they do, but they do it and it's remarkable. It's so cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, game development is something that I I find so interesting and so impressive. And you know, like mm -hmm. you were even just talking about just incorporating things for accessibility from ground up versus as an afterthought. I imagine you know, not not just so you can give it more attention as as you progress through the creation of the game, but also I'd imagine that adding something afterward would break the game in unexpected, <laughs> horrible ways. That yes. is always because that's <laughs> I don't like, yes yeah. I don't know how to code <laughs> or program, but from my understanding, it is like you change like one thing, like you change the way that a character walks and it's for some reason affects like the color of the sun or just something, you know what I mean? Like it's all just, you just Hopefully never know. This is our load bearing sun. If yes, exactly. Goes wrong. Load, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, hopefully it's it's not quite that element of chaos theory. Um, but no, you're right. If you can build something from the ground up with accessibility in mind, it is just, yeah, it is just a lot easier and just better for the game in itself um, because you're giving it the care and attention it actually deserves um, adding it afterwards yeah is a lot harder yeah um, not that not but obviously as new things develop if you can add them great you can add them it's great where are we we're in slaughterhouse do okay. you have right. any interesting <laughs> i'm gonna stop talking now because i'm gonna have to oh yeah you're gonna have to play okay i'll keep my question for after this is oh. this is where yeah everyone gets to see my gaming face and yeah my <laughs> yeah. you're you're not on camera because I can't I can't figure out how to do it both at the same time but oh, I can good. see that's you good. though Steve I can uh -oh. see you everyone just imagine a very concentrated face yeah yeah just <laughs> staring intently at the thing thank you Jeremy Casson well. and Ben for your donations oh thank you so much oh thank Helping you it's amazing. So it looked as though we didn't have all three family members. Did the match start uh, without no, them? Or? Got, no, no. The match started with with the uh, yeah with the right number. Oh, of we got them all. Okay, cool. 
we got them all. Now, um, so you may notice that obviously, yep, you've you've lots of people making noise as they escaped. Is that fine? Because uh, I mean, what's the difference? Um, well, it will go. The difference is obviously, um, if you make noise, the family can see that noise. Mm -hmm. So effectively, you're telegraphing to Leatherface at this point. Hey, we're over here. Come and find us. Okay. Um, so you and the qu slower you move, and the quieter you are. Is this you that I'm following? Uh, I am Julie in some very fetching red trousers. Mm -hmm. Yes, I am. <laughs> I am so, absolutely following you, and cool. uh, yeah, so, getting yeah, an iPhone. So, okay, so there is a tool in the south tunnel. I was just saying, and you can. Whoops. Okay, so we've made noise and woken up Grandpa. Oh, Grandpa. So that, after so that, oh. Means that, the, that means the family can come into the basement with us. Okay. And you have you to notice, feed him. There is a slightly orange, or there was a slightly orange highlight around the character. Uh, all around the screen Ooh. that just means that leatherface is close or a family member is close by so you have to be a little bit careful i'll watch your back while you're doing this thank you oh um, yeah we could pick up multiple tools or we can pick up a tool in the bone shard okay he's getting close or they're getting closer to us all right i'm almost done yep got it that's all right they're going away again thanks okay, okay. So let's let's just carefully walk around here okay so again moving so we could grab a bone part uh, bone scrap if we wanted to that'll help us cut down Things like these bone charms or shank a family member should we need to. Oh, that's right. I forgot that it can be a um, weapon too. We can also use it against Grandpa to uh, immobilize him for a short amount of time. Great. Um, so, yeah, the, yeah, we, we're not completely defenseless, but obviously we're not going to be uh, fighting off Leatherface. Uh, speaking of which, he's, there's, somebody, <laughs> there's somebody moving around near us. It's not me. I'm not making noise. No, no, I, we won't. The, the proximity won't detect you, so... Okay. As we're coming here, so obviously, yeah, we can cut down. Nice Make sure good we work, cut good work. Down. And then obviously in the, I say obviously a lot, apologies. <laughs> um, but yeah, the trick for uh, escaping the basement, look for blue. Blue is a color of, of escape. So mm. also ah. big, shiny, big shiny metal door. Uh, do I, these, uh... All the basement exits are these big shiny metal doors, which you might recognize oh, from wait. the movie. Uh, and you want to take this slowly. Yeah, just just take it. We've got plenty of time. And as a, as a victim, it's it's the interesting thing because your instinct is always to, oh my god, they're coming, run away. We've got to do things quick. We've got to get out. Take your time, move slowly. Uh, what we want to do is make sure people are thinking about what they're doing. So it's not just, as I said, if you run around like a headless chicken, you will become a headless chicken. If you <laughs> act in a considered way, you should survive for a Fairly decent amount of time. Okay, so metal doors always make noise. Okay, couldn't avoid nice. that. All right. No, we can't avoid that. Um, but yeah, so we want to head up the ladder. And we want to basically, as soon as you're up there, just find a place to hide. Oh, we, someone we told me to go stab place. Grandpa. Can I do that? You, you can go stab Grandpa. Um, <laughs> Grandpa, so the trick with Grandpa is um, if you want to, if you want to take him on, you're going to have to sneak up to him. Yeah. Approach from behind. Okay. If you, whoop, and don't do what I've just done and move while he's screaming. Oh no! I see. I see. Uh, we've got a teammate there. there. Yeah, our teammate there is going to get caught. Okay, good. Um, good for us. So again, moving slowly. Oh, hitchhiker knows uh -oh. here. I'm going to I'm going to distract him, and then leave you to uh, get away. I'll Hopefully. be back in a minute. Well, I'm hoping he's going to chase me, and I'm going to go straight down a well. Because. <laughs> and all right, I'm resetting the basement. I'll be back here, back with you in a couple of minutes. Okay. Um, <laughs> I want to shank Grandpa. So work out where I landed. <laughs> All right. So you've uh -oh. you've got your entire motivation for this match. Then is to get Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. that's that's my goal. All right. That's my oh, one all right. Goal. You. Okay. He's so, the so best at getting... killing. Not after I get <laughs> done with that, him. He's the best that ever was. Uh, let's, <laughs> let's face it. Okay. Uh, okay. I'm now separated from you. But again, if you move slowly, move from bush to bush, shadow to shadow. Uh, you know. I One, don't know if you're moving is. slowly, Cook can't detect you oh, shit. Uh, because he can only detect people moving at a beyond a certain speed. He's like a T-Rex. He is. <laughs> no, well, you, can, you can see stuff more than, you know, more than moving. <laughs> and he's not that old. He's old, but he's not that old. <laughs> Where's Grandpa? Where is this guy? Uh, so he'll either be outside the facilities building. 
Do I remember how uh, old the actor was playing Grandpa in the first one? Because he was oh, young. He was just a guy. He in... was, yeah, he was in his 20s. Yeah, he was because uh, we met him at a convention like two years ago. And I have a picture of him hitting me on the head with like a sledge. <laughs> fantastic. He was really sweet. He was like, are you sure you want this picture? It's so morbid. Yeah, John Dugan. <laughs> John Dugan, yeah. That's a fella. Right, so I'm just going to hide. He humored me. So where, where, where are you at, James? You're in... I'm in a you're shack. In a, you're in the holding pen. No, you're in the holding pen. Okay. Uh, stay still. Roman Dota yeah. says he was 28. I, bl I choose to believe that. I do not have my Whoa. phone, so I cannot... Yeah. Oh, wait, so, no. They are saying no. Yeah. They're pretty sure he was 18. Wow. Yeah, he was born in 1953, and the film came out in, what, 1974? Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. That, that was a lot Young a lot baby. Of yeah, that was a lot of debate about baby like, grandpa. Yeah. The youngest grandfather was made is in seventy-three. Oh, and, and that's and released in seventy-four. That would be an interesting design dilemma because it's like, do uh -oh. you in this game make him look like okay. an actual old person, <sighs> or do you that. stay kind of faithful to the movie and make it look <laughs> more like a guy with kind of prosthetics on? Like he's a bit uncanny. He's like a living doll. Almost. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. You know, I mean, well, yeah, I mean, it's very much a case of, yeah, you look at, again, uh, I'm going to sound like a broken record, but you, you go back to the reference material. Yeah. You go back to the movie. What did he look like in the movie? Uh -huh. Grandpa. And so, yeah, you'll see, yeah, well, we've made him look, you know, you could definitely tell it's a, it's a real, you know, it's a real character. Mm -hmm. um, he is, yeah, he's been made to look like he does in the movie. Yeah. It's very, like, cakey <laughs> and, uh -huh. oh. Yeah. But yeah, where is that he? Weird kind of like question. crusty nature to him. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. no, that is not the word so, I wanted. Well, it, 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 I, I want to cut that crusty bastard. Where is he? <laughs> <laughs> let's go look right, at. So let's go look at his he, design. If he's, if he's not, if he's not, he'll be near somewhere near the tool shed in the middle of the map. If he's not down the side of it, uh, he. It's will just be... you and me left. Ever our other teammates are dead. Okay, oh well, no. Facilities okay. is almost a facility building, which is the one that's in front of you now, uh, is almost completely. Open. Oh, I found him! So, I found him! All right. Oh, oh wow, he's like okay. He, he may have also found. How do him. I kill him? Or uh, you you have a sh uh, bone shard. Yeah. In your inventory, and you walk up to him, and you. I stab yes. Grandpa. Oh. <laughs> and now you get get out of there and find. Oh, yep, yep, yep. Run. Because oh, shit. <laughs> because Grandpa has highlighted you, and everybody's going to be on you. They're coming after me, dude. <laughs> Oh, no. Okay, well, well, if you keep running, stay, all right. Oh, God. Oh, oh, oh we've got a time God, pressure. Stay, if, stay if mobile. Go... <laughs> Please, where's a little crack I can go through? Where's a little crack oh. I can go through? Well, if you can go oh, no. Well, oh, dude. Find a well. Get, jump down the well. It'll give you a there you go. Oh. Out of time. There's a well. Oh. Get down oh. there. Oh, my God. I think I died. <laughs> uh, you might be all right. Get your second wind. Right. Okay. You did it, hon. Oh, right. that was a nasty so, fall. Yes, uh, it was. Okay. Like... okay, the loading dock is, is open. So. Okay. Was okay, that you? So, Did you do that? Yeah, so if you can find your way to the furnace room, which is the room with all the pipes. Okay. And, uh, ooh, hello. Oh, Grandpa's only <laughs> level one. Nice. That's <laughs> level one Grandpa. A level one Grandpa. Well, you don't want level five Grandpa. Level five Grandpa can detect That'd be a no problem. what you're doing. Right, I'm just gonna I'm gonna unlock this door as well, just to make sure. Do I uh, should I bother getting an unlock tool or no? Not at this point. Uh, you sh if I've done this right, you shouldn't need one. Okay. Right. So, oh god, hang on, I'm a, I'm about to get murdered though, so no. I have to hang on. Right, that's open. Okay, I'm gonna go hide in a bush. So, uh, okay, so where are you? You're in tool storage. Yeah, is that okay? Uh, that's fine, yeah. Uh, oh, Hitchhiker's come out. He's noticed that the generator's off. He's now fixing the generator. I could shank him and run, but that'll leave you completely <laughs> on your own. So if you oh. go to the water, no, to your right, up those stairs. Oh, God. Um, Just up the steps. Yep. There's a the leather face. The, there's a leather face. Okay. Yep. You, you might be mm. Oh, it's so tense. <laughs> Should I still go up those stairs? 
Yeah, I mean, up, you're gonna up have to, to Grandpa's have party. To, no, 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 wrong stairs. <laughs> no, I, I, oh, oh, wrong stairs. Whoops. <laughs> Grandpa saved me. <laughs> Grandpa. Oh, no. Grandpa's having like a <laughs> afternoon cocktail no, party up here. There you go. Right, okay. This is a good, so, it's a good event space he's got. Going. Oh, damn. Okay, so, so, oh, you're so hidden, yeah. I can't even see you in spec mode. Well, you know, I'm, I'm here, don't worry. Um, oh, so damn. I'm just, wait, I'm just waiting for Hitchhiker to decide that I'm not actually here anymore. <laughs> uh, because, because I don't want him to know where Are you I'm... hiding like a backdoor glitch that you've programmed nope. into this? No, this is, no, <laughs> not at all. I would never. <laughs> How dare you? Uh, no, um... No, this is this is just me hiding in the in a dark little bush. Oh, he's, I see Nugget. The, the problem, the problem. Yeah, there's Nugget. No, Nugget's Nugget's there. spotted. Yeah. Oh, dude, he, I think he's here. found you. He oh, Grandpa's nope, not yet. Too now as oh, well. He's, he's, he's being thorough. He's being but, very thorough. Nope, wow. Nope, he missed me. Wow. There's nobody here, Hitchhiker. Leave. How can you play this? What? <laughs> They're not here. <laughs> this is what I mean by hold your nerve. There's no one here, Hitchhiker. No one's here. Just We're not leave, here. Hitchhiker. Just leave. Go on, mate. Pop, pop. Mm. No, nope, I'm not sneak attacking. I'm just not waiting for it. him to look right into our camera and be like, now where did they go? <laughs> <laughs> you can't find me. I'm fine. Unless, of course, he knows I'm here. And he's, he's just calling Lava oh, no, he's, over. He's stream sniping. He definitely <laughs> has to be stream sniping. The, the potential. There, there is that possibility. The problem is, from here, where's my escape route? That's my escape route. That blue... Okay. Oh, blue, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Blue, I, blue, I blue it. Always, yeah, blue is always a good color. Okay. okay. That's good to know. That's okay. such a cool design so, thing. If he is, if he is, yeah. So if you notice, the toolboxes are blue. The ah. frames around the exit doors are blue. Yeah, don't know I'm here. Come on, you're going to get bored. Get bored. Uh, go back into the oh. facilities building. Yes. No, I want him, I need him to go through those doors. That's, that's all I'm, and I'm perfectly happy to wait. I'm, Nerves of steel, Steve. This is not my first time, Paige. Um, <laughs> <laughs> if it was, I'd be no, worried. <laughs> no, I, I am. Yeah, thing is, uh, uh -oh. what I shouldn't. Uh, I made a mistake. Uh -oh. I did make a mistake mm. where I opened the gate. I should let. I should have left the gate closed, not unlocked, but I should have left mm. it closed. But I just yeah, hear like a chainsaw. I just hear anger. No, just he's not here. There's no one here. Go on, go on. There's no one here. You've searched uh -huh. everywhere, mate. I'm stressed. You've searched the place. It's fine. But the worst thing I can do now is give away my position. Mm -hmm. That's, I mean, I'm, I'm, in, mm -hmm. I'm in for the tactical game now. So it's like, come on, you've searched everywhere. They're not here. Yep, they're not here. Go Even though he's and... he's so far away, you don't want to make a run for it now? No, no, because he's turned the generator back on. That would just be me running into a cattle grid. I see. Oh, okay. damn. And I'd just get electrocuted. So oh, no that's point. happened to us before. Yeah. So <laughs> I, want, I want him to leave and go, no, no, no. There's no one here. There's no one here. Stealth they must King have down Steve. The well. Must have jumped down the well. Go on. Oh, you thought you saw someone. Oh, there's no one here. Now, this is this is where the, the other family members, if he's talking to them, he should be saying, feed grandpa, feed grandpa, feed grandpa. Because as soon as grandpa gets to level five, even though I'm hiding in a mm. bush, he'd just, he'd just pick me. Oh, he'd no. Just go, look, there you are. I can see you. Was he's he level three I mean, right now? I think I saw mm -hmm. him. Yeah, this yeah. Guy, so I've got, I've got a bit of time. Stabbing a tire, <laughs> stabbing a tire out of boredom. Yeah, Just... no, no, he's, he's putting a trap down. Smart, okay. <laughs> smart hitchhiker. He's saying, well, okay, I can't find them. They might still be here. I'm gonna put a trap down, and then I'm gonna leave. Steve's just manifesting it. Oh, there you go. Might oh. be right. Off you go. Go oh, grab some blood. Yeah. <gasps> oh, 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 here's another one. No, no, they're he's not swapping. Here. They're not it's here, a shift swap. No, 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 no. They're not here, Leatherface. <laughs> no, they're not here. No. Okay. It could be a, a, a swap. Is Leatherface going to be as patient? Because oh. I, I really don't want to hold up your stream much longer, and I'd actually like to escape. No, it's fine. I'm, I'm fascinated by this. But I mean, this is what we mean by hold your nerve, because it's not perfect stealth. If if they get close enough to me, they will see me. Oh yeah. Uh, I've, I've got I've got a very deep shadow, but I mean you can just see my gray my gray yeah. body there. Yeah, yeah. So I I, pick, I know where obviously I know where this shadow is. Okay, okay, that's interesting. Uh oh. Go on, Leatherface. No, no, there, there, there's no one here. There is nobody oh, here. Oh god. Oh god. There is no oh god. One here. Oh. Steve, you are the final girl. I am. Oh, amazing. Oh, he's bumped into me. Oh, yep, oh god. Oh, oh no. Oh, see now, oh, frustrating. Oh, 
Steve, Steve, go! Go, Steve, go! Come on, Steve! He's gonna right. fall. Go, I'm final fall go, now. Steve, go! Right, okay. Now this oh is, my this god, is where things, so this is where things get interesting. Well, so scary! Okay, I'm not gonna be alive for long. Don't say right, that, Steve. You've got this. This, is, this it really is some right. real <laughs> final girl. Right. <laughs> okay, so two of them were over on that side of the map. So, all right, I'm going to have to move a little bit quicker than normal. Stay still. Luckily, staying still while hunting for an object, perfectly valid. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, climbing ladders, I'm still moving. You've got a problem. Going through uh a sidle, I'm still moving. Is your, uh, like, but, search speed buffed or something? Because that looked way faster than uh, when I was doing I've it. I've got some points into... Uh, yeah, I, I have put some points into my uh, proficiency. Okay. Um, oh, cool. Remembering that correctly. Um, so, yes, I've got some. Not all. I'm not... I'm not... Oh, hang on. Nobody unlocked this door. Okay. <laughs> got the Steve. Careful. So, you know, don't want to make noise. I don't want to break my tools. Okay. Obviously, if I, if I encounter... Uh, a family member now. I'm going to be in trouble. But let's pop that door. Loud door. Uh, grandpa's at maximum. Right. Uh, so, uh, nowhere to hide. Oh, maximum, grandpa. Look, maximum grandpa. Maximum <laughs> grandpa. Full strength I'm grandpa. I'm going to go completely in the opposite direction. He's at full power. Oh okay. God. He's now, over now 9, this is where, where I have to do my <laughs> sonic impression, and I have to move fast. Um, okay. I'm not moving fast enough. But Keep rolling he's around, gonna go, Steve. It's going to go off again. And I'm Cook moving too quick, you. so because I'm moving too quick here, Cook's heard me. Yep. I'm about oh, to no. be detected. <laughs> That's so Let's ominous. You're about to be detected by Grimpa. Come on. I'm <laughs> over here. Let's make some additional noise. Let's, let's really let them know where I am. Okay. For some reason, Party time. you're about to be detected by Grandpa is so much scarier than you've been detected. By yeah, Grandpa. it's telling the future. It's, it's like, so there's scary no escape. To me. <laughs> Grandpa Hello. just becomes pussy oh. when he levels up. Oh, that oh. was mean. Oh, no. Oh, no. oh, oh you just oh. ducked under that chains. <laughs> let's just make sure I'm not... But let's do a... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh! oh! This is a well-oiled machine of a team. Yeah. Oh, they're... my gosh. Oh, oh how oh, are they everywhere? Oh. <laughs> Coordinated. There you go. That was such a good oh, run. That was cinematic. That Damn. was that was that was worth the dying. I must admit, that was yeah. That was amazing. Think, that was good fun. But yeah, three family members, one victim. You see the mistake there. A little rough. I didn't leave when I had the opportunity. Because <laughs> you you were helping me. You could have left me behind <laughs> and escaped with your life. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, yeah, it wouldn't be the first time. I, I will take the opportunity to, to apolo apologize to Ryan, Ali QA, who I have I have led Leatherface to him multiple times in our playtests <laughs> and then just disappeared into the ether and uh, leaving Ryan to deal with an angry Leatherface. That was actually a question I had because something I find so fascinating about game development is just the weird things that um, either like during testing or upon release are kind of found to be either like game breaking or just weird where like you couldn't have predicted. Like there's kind of the the urban legend of uh, in the Civ games, you had Gandhi's um, peace slider and you know, he's a very peaceful character, but there was something where it would roll backwards from zero and all of a sudden you have Gandhi nuking the entire planet. Um, <laughs> Is, was there anything you ran into like that where there was maybe something unexpectedly silly or... Uh... Um, before you answer, uh, we did pass 2K, which is great. Oh my God. Uh, let's see how much higher we can go. This will be the last round of the stream. So thank you, Delta A1004. Oh. Uh, and Slash and Cast, thank you. And Witchy D and Jeremy oh, Cast. Amazing names. Yes, thank you all. Uh, and oh, let's oh. see the the link is this trying to think of uh, weird and wonderful things that happen <laughs> i mean there is the um i mean i don't know if you've listened to the radios in in the levels um if you're not that you always have time um but i remember again uh, a conversation with uh, ross tregenza our uh, audio director and composer and we we're just like 
something weird in the game. I don't know what it is. And it, just over the comms as we're playing in the playtest, he goes, oh, would that be the creepy children laughing that I put into the radios? <laughs> what? And it's just like, you what? Oh. I went, oh, yeah, I, I put some, I, I, I recorded some creepy laughs and then I down-tuned them to sound like kids. And then I put that through the radios and through static. And it's like, what? Oh, <laughs> oh no, thank it's, you. It's, it's conversations like that. And it's just like, you know, when you're, <laughs> Yeah, you know, you're, you're having. It's like, yeah, what would happen if you know so and so happened? You know, it's like, uh, yeah, what you know, can yeah, you know, how much gore can we get away with? Uh, you know, like, oh, is that is this body part a bit too much mm -hmm. to hang on the wall? You know, um, <laughs> that is the fun part of working in horror is yeah. you because it becomes your job. You're having very um, kind of banal discussions about gore yeah. and yeah Complain amounts of blood or body parts <laughs> yeah it's just like you know yeah it, it, it's just like you know yeah i really love the hanging torso that we've put in, like, <laughs> um, in the fuse uh, fuse box door room in the family house you know it's just like it really really sets the place it sets the mood really nicely right <laughs> um but so yeah we... and you do it you pick i mean somebody uh asked a colleague of mine uh in an interview of just like yeah, don't don't you kind of start reacting to the gore? It's like, to be honest, we don't see it because you, you're <laughs> seeing. But you are you're seeing. Oh, it's this piece of. I mean, a body part is a piece of. We've seen it from when it was what we call a white box. Mm. So it's just a piece of geometry, a grey piece of geometry with a checkerboard on it. So okay. Like, well, that's the same thing. It's just now it's got a really nice texture and a and some VFX on it, and it's mm. dripping blood, and it's, you know. So it's it's you can compartmentalize it. Yeah. Um, it's like once once you've seen how special effects makeup is done, mm -hmm. it's like okay, I can I you know I can appreciate that from a a technical point of view. Mm -hmm. Um, and it's it's when I guess you lose that you can lose that sense of uh, that analytical sense is when it starts kind of creeping back in and you get the horror and the, that's why it's so nice to see people like yourselves playing it and watch. Yeah, we watch other live streamers. I mean, you mentioned Slash and Cast. We we watch those um, their live streams and uh, and those guys playing and uh, <laughs> other streamers. And yeah, I mean, it, it's really great to to see yeah see everybody playing and see the reactions, um, especially first time players. It's just yeah, there's nothing like um, Lester. She'll probably kill me for saying it, but Ellie, um, one of our marketing. Um, <laughs> oh, she's marketing wonderful. Team, <laughs> she's amazing. She holds the record for the loudest scream during a play test. <laughs> nice. uh, she, was, she was playing in a focus test with us um, as a victim. Oh, uh, we're not readied up, so we're being bad. Sorry. Oh, oh. <laughs> in our lobby. oh and um, thank you. Thank you, Grayson and Dead Cell for further donations. Appreciate yeah. that. Oh, and, um, and yeah, we, we, she was, uh, she was being hunted down in the basement, and she let out such a loud scream that it broke the headphone microphone oh my god so the blew out the mic <laughs> she, popped the mic. she blew out the mic and so she's our reigning scream queen um later that day she also managed her first escape uh oh, amazing. Nice. Oh, amazing. and honestly the the joy she had of escaping was just absolutely amazing um so yeah, love you, Ellie. Thank you very much. Oh, we got so we'll keep, I'm going to keep telling. I tell that story everywhere. Oh, she hates. So yeah, it's just like, yeah. But uh, yeah, you could hear it across the office. It was it was amazing. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what what made her scream that loud? Um, she she was in the basement, uh, being chased down by Cook, and Leatherface came around the corner. Oh, okay. Yeah. Just, yep. just ex executed. Yeah, you know, one hit kill executed. I'll do it. Um, and yeah, she just, that was it. She, whoa, that was fast. Yeah. Okay, they may be rushing. So, Bubba, time to get out of the basement, mate. Just find a find a door. Uh, oh, I love we're on the front porch of the house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so Let's I'm. Now. Yeah, okay. Okay, so, yeah, they're coming around the front. Oh, they are? Oops. Uh... Uh, so, hang on. Just make sure that, make sure you, uh, I'm going to put a lock Oops. on the front door. We were also oh. lucky enough to visit the house several years ago. We ate in the restaurant and. Yeah. Uh, when we went this there, this front or this door is that not a door? There's not a door there. Okay, never mind. Oh, it's just open. Yep. Uh, uh, when we went there, we told them, you know, we're huge Texas Chainsaw fans, and yeah. uh, I mean, it's it's my favorite horror movie. And uh, something really cool that they they showed me uh, was on the floor. If you walk in the main entryway, uh, 
there is like a groove on the floor um and yes. they said that that's where the sliding door was Chicken that word. leatherface first comes through and that oh, cool. it's yeah. still it's like permanently kind of gouged the wooden the floor yeah. so i'm basically just laying on the floor taking pictures of this thing these poor yeah. waiters are just stepping over me but i'm having the time of my life i'm just oh, in heaven the front window what's up they've gone out the front window uh, i don't know what the front is uh, is this the front uh, or is this okay. the back the front is where the uh the uh cooks um sorry cooks van is uh, okay so somebody's out here this generator is over by the garage, so let's go over that way. Make sure that's still on. Oh, hello. There's... Oh, and Damien's just popped into the chat. Hi, Damien. Hi, Damien. Damien oh, has also this... signed the puppet. He has. Uh, looked like Leland was over by the living room on the ground floor. Oh, so no. I'm just going to randomly call out the names. Uh, it's on. It's on the top right of the screen. Okay, they've they've. They've done the generator. Oh, so wow. They seem like they're are, doing yeah, well. Someone, okay, someone's... there's Dave. Okay, I was looking for him in the chat. Hello, Damien. <laughs> okay, so... Oh, and they've opened... Wow, they've opened the fuse box already. These guys are very good and very organized. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't bode well for us. Nope. I think I'm in the backyard. You're still outside. I'm in the side garden. Where should I... Oh, right. That's a dead end, so okay. yeah, just get back in the house. Uh, okay, someone already so, escaped. Okay. Yeah, someone's escaped. Uh, the I, I see someone outside from the back porch. Oh, wait, can I just that's go That's me. Here? Oh. No, that's me. Oh, wait, me. no, I see someone out further out. What, oh. what the? Uh-oh. Um, oh, sorry. That's, that was me slamming the door in your face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry. Right, hello. Is you got startled. You're like one of those goats that gets startled and falls over. Knuckle it. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh my god. Okay. Oh, amazing. <laughs> and okay. someone disconnected. Somebody's okay. still in the house. There's somebody still in the house. They're upstairs. Right, I need to turn that fuse box off because we're going to lose everybody. Ah, oh, hello, Sonny. Damien says he's, he's not upset no one's playing Johnny. Dude, Johnny, mm. I feel like the internet is oh, very nice. thirsty for Johnny. <laughs> You would not believe. It's incredible. Oh, hello. <laughs> uh, See, that's why right, they couldn't play him. That's all people would be talking about. It'd be, it'd be too much. <laughs> yeah, no, there is there is a, a thirst for Johnny. <laughs> definitely. You thought Grandpa was thirsty. Designed it, you know. Yeah, oh, you thought hey. <laughs> Okay. I need Bubba. Can you go and uh, hack down some... Yeah, if you can hack down the uh, barricade at the front here, that would be great. You want to take that down? I'll go around the other side. At least get one of them. George says I've been talking to my therapist about my crush on Johnny. <laughs> George? I never realised you were a Johnny. Oh, okay. Oh, those work meetings are going to get real interesting. Well, is this the front? This I'm on the front porch. Looks like the front. Hey, I found a guy. Wait, is that a guy? Oh, that's a guy. Yeah, that, that's a okay. guy. That's definitely a guy because it's not us. Where'd this guy go? Uh, he's going towards the side garden. Shit. I just, just wanted... making <laughs> bone music. I was just music. playing the bones. I love all the okay, sounds in this that. game. They're very satisfying. Uh, all the foley. Yeah, yeah so uh, I'm sure you won't mind me mentioning. So uh, Ross, uh, again, made a real, <laughs> he has made, Shit. inadvertently made one of Ross. his friend's chickens uh, famous uh, huh. because the, the chicken noise is actually uh, one that is a friend of his. Amazing. Belong, uh, sorry, the chicken belongs to a friend of his. The chicken isn't actually his friend. I thought maybe the chicken was his friend. Uh, Anna's <laughs> at the back, by the way. Uh Back gate, Anna. I see you. Yeah. Very good animal yeah. acting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no, he, no, he went. He went round to uh, his friend's house, and uh, let's come on. Can I turn this on quickly enough? I don't think I'm going to turn it on quickly enough. No, I'm not. Oh well. Let's turn it on anyway, mm. just so that no one else can escape that way. I love that it was originally recorded chicken sounds for this. It'd be so easy to use a sound pack. Exactly, yeah. Yeah, but, uh, but it's little no, I mean, things like that. 
yeah i mean it's one thing i mean ross like uh, a lot of audio files that i know um carry around like i mean i carry around a notebook so mm -hmm. i can note down like game ideas and stuff that pop into my head and, and stuff like that uh ross carries around a recording device with him yes i've oh, i have i've that. known several sound people like i, I uh at our university, there was a major performance art technology. So I knew a lot of like sound designer type people who majored in that. And they all carried around recording equipment with them and just collected yeah. sounds. Yeah. And I just yeah. thought yeah. it was Things so yeah. I'm I mean, like, oh, that's perfect. It's so cool. Oh, the generator's off again. Um, ah, Leland's out front. He's running towards the driveway. I'm okay. I'm, I'm kind of by there. It's Good, because I'm, that... I'm always doing the vowel. Okay. Well, that's interesting. Something about well, humans that, that oh, I really like is we love to collect things and we've yes. even found ways to collect things that should be impossible to collect, like sounds. <laughs> should or... I mess this valve up? Uh, yeah, if you can. I think I can. What's this uh, do? Uh, it opens the pressure gate on the left-hand side of the house. So if you can shut it off. Did he just disconnect, uh, though? No, I don't think he disconnected. No, he's oh, still yeah. there. We've, uh, still got, we've still got two of them. So oh, sort of oh, sunny. the people who escaped disconnected, I see. Yeah, mm. okay, so let's so, have a look. Yeah, where'd where he go? go? Where'd go? He went down a well. Ah, uh, the coward's okay. way out. Mm. Uh, so it's, it's necessary survival for the victims. <laughs> he's a coward. <laughs> okay, so he's now yeah. matching him. Oh, no, he's cutting down a bone shard. Okay, that's interesting. So he's in the, Leland's in the basement. So we're, we're happy that Leland's in the basement. I dare um, him to go out the front door. I yep, set a you've trap. got that trapped. That's yes. good. And it's locked as well. So Do I have another trap? To do that. Can I have more okay. than one trap? Uh, you have three. <gasps> oh, I'd suggest putting one uh, on the side door of the house, if you can, on the right-hand side of the... Oh, that sounds like the valve's gone again. Mm -hmm. so I'm going to leave the front door open to see if he'll actually run into that trap. Yeah, the valve's gone again, so somebody's out here. Can I get to it in time? I'm not sure I'll be able to get to it in time. I, I, I do love their little run cycles. That I love how every one of them just has their own identity with it. It's so cute. All right, valve pressure's yeah. turned off, and I reckon there's somebody around here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna stay out front. Because next time that I opens, found someone, I think, or is this? Yep. Our, our Michigan really oh. showed there. We both just <laughs> oped so hard. Where'd he go after he knocked me down? Uh, right here? He's, and if he's running away from you, are you in the basement? Yes. Right. Uh, I can't. Shit. He's out of, slightly out of my range. I can't quite see him. Uh, I'm going to stick towards the front of the house and the, um, between the generator and the, <laughs> Jug it. <Pressure> no. <laughs> <laughs> Jug it is so cursed. <laughs> uh, oh no, that's awful. Right, generators. Oh no, it's not quite back on. Come on, Steve, you can do this. There we go. Right, generators on again. Right, so generators on, the battery's on, the pressure valve is turned off. But that does mean that Sonny was out here as well as Leland. Oh, someone's making noise. They're in the basement. Yep, Leland is moving from the towards the back of the house. I'm just... uh, coming up the rear stairs. Rear stairs. Just sitting Cut here down thinking. The bone like... But he's coming around the rear stairs. Just sitting here thinking. Sunny. Like, could they flip this house? It'd probably be a teardown. <laughs> it's probably the foundation's probably so gross. Shit! He got through. He got through this. Oh, wait, oh, I can go God. through, too. I've got Sonny at the front. Oh, oh Nugget is a killer. <laughs> that Nug would Nugget, be so Yeah, fun. Nugget is one of the family. Oh. It, yeah. F, yeah. I lost him. You, you, you think that Nugget's just a, an innocent chicken, but yeah. Sorry, oh, I lost him. Ghost full cuckoo and summons the thousands of its friends to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, <laughs> yes, yeah, like in... <laughs> <laughs> you you kick him and then just like hundreds of chickens oh, show up. <laughs> just see, I, I, I could give I, I could give our technical director an absolute heart attack with that. 
It's like, yeah, we've got this character design. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be a chicken. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when you kick it, it's going to look, it's going to spawn a thousand chickens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just watch his head explode. It seems like it should be like a hidden thing where you go to school and you're like, yeah, if you if you do this, 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 and you hit this, 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 you can play as the chicken. <laughs> like it's really hard I'd to like unlock, but like trust the Konami me. code. Yes, kind of uh, exactly. Or new under the truck, like. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, dear. Oh. Right. So, Sonny was hiding in the bushes and being very sneaky and got out of the... That's the generator. Don't listen to the generator, Cook. Okay. So, we've still got a Leland in here somewhere. Oh. I found him. Oh, he pushed oh. me down. Oh. Did my trap oh, get him? That's what room you in? Door. He's on uh, oh, back porch, back porch. Back porch, right. Okay, we're going. He's right. crawling out. He's getting out of here. Oh. Yep, yep. He's got... Oh, he's going down the well again. Oh my god. <gasps> oh god. Oh my god, this is nausea. No! <laughs> uh, <sighs> How did my trap not get him down these stairs? He must have for avoided force. it. Uh, yeah, that's... that's oh. um, you better put it in the doorway. Okay. Um, mm. uh, if, if he's going to come through there. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> and Leatherface is here too. Right. right, so yeah, Hitchhiker is probably best to go down into the basement. Uh, okay. Although, all right, he's so running into Leatherface's lair. He's running through Leatherface's lair. Where's that? It's, cut, uh, it's directly under us now. Should I just? He's more or less. Or... He's more or less okay. direct, directly under us. So if you go into, yeah, we've been ignoring Grandpa as well this entire time. I'm very yeah, sorry. We definitely have. This Where is, is he? Because I have blood. I have food for him. He, He's in the I got a little squeeze living room, I think. I think he's in the living room. Yeah, there he is. Where's that? Let's let's feed him up. Oh yeah, yeah. Glug 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 glug. You'll have to wait about ten seconds before he's hungry again. Oh, he'll be real hungry. Don't worry. <laughs> I I know my grandpa. Grandpa hungry. <laughs> he's a hungry boy. Hungry. <laughs> grandpa. So Get wrong on many hungry. levels. <laughs> All right, he's moving through the tunnels by the cold room, going there towards go. the side garden. Here you go, Grandpa. Oh, that's a good question, Paul. Paul Fabriki. Apologies if I mispronounce your name. Do you know what sound is making the kind of bone clattering sound? Do you know what kind of foley that is, or is that? Oh, uh, I actually don't. I I think well, I actually think it might be some bones. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, actual animal bones. It's very satisfying to listen uh, to. Yeah, no, but animal I can, I can bones. <laughs> yeah. Right, where's he gone? Where have you gone? I can't hear him. He's being very sneaky. So let's shut that door because he'll he's going to have to make noise to open that again. Which one? This one that I just uh, opened. The rear stairs. Yeah, that one that just. Well, I'm Biologic gonna feed rest. Grandpa that one more me. time and get get him up to the next level. Okay. And uh, I'm assuming yeah, that I'm gonna us. collect some more blood and then we'll see how we do. I like that their version of the plastic on the couch is like animal carcass on the couch. It's oh. so you don't ruin the furniture, you know. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's it. I mean... Oh, I see him down there. He's moving. He's yeah. running. Yeah. You're yeah. you're actually the best character to head down there and chase him. Oh boy! Because uh, obviously you're the most mobile. You can go through the sidle gaps and yeah, yeah, all yeah. that sort of stuff, the crawl spaces. Uh, and I'll try and stay up here and do my best to highlight where he is if he's moving quickly okay. enough. Grandpa's and hungry feed again. Grandpa. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna feed Grandpa. Oh, you got an achievement. What I get? Oh, as hitchhiker. Oh, I couldn't read it in time. Crawl through a <laughs> gap and yeah. a ladder. You did a lot of crawling yeah. and climbing. Yeah, if you've done that, was it the ladder, the crawl space, the uh, the gaps, um, and yeah, all the traversals basically as hitchhiker, you'll get there. Where are you? Oh, right. oh. oh you got him. Oh. Did we get him? I helped. I helped. I think. No, no, Leatherface oh. has got him. Oh, That's oh. it. Leatherface oh. got him. Oh, oh damn! He's you got the, you got the assist. Okay. Oh, team kill. Yeah. How do I teabag yeah, him? Yeah. No, <laughs> that's rude. This okay. isn't Halo, James. <laughs> uh, but uh, yeah, 
All right. Oh, right. We got a win. Jackhammer well, X4. Oh, amazing. Well we got a kill. That guy, that guy knew his stuff. That guy got really knew his stuff. But uh, unfortunately, <laughs> he did not escape. But he got his other teammates out. Uh, Steve, before we let you go, any any fun like future of the game stuff you can reveal or? Uh... Oh, well, all I can say is we are yeah we're you know releasing updates and working hard on updates uh, to the game. I can't say any more than that. Okay. Uh, otherwise, I will be <laughs> hung, drawn, and quartered, and probably used as a prop. Not for the um, next <laughs> the next yeah. update. But uh, no, we are we're constantly you know obviously we're you know tracking down any bugs that we've we've still got. We're you know making new content we're, we're just working yeah working just as hard as we did during production to uh to keep the game going so uh yeah i was also curious real fast if i know that the game is based entirely on the first movie because of rights issues but are there any easter eggs or references to any of the many uh sequels in this in the series um or did you try to avoid that no we i mean we are yeah, as you said, tied to the 1973 movie. Uh, mm -hmm. There are some some Easter eggs in there, um, some of which have been found, and some of which I don't know if the players have noticed, um, which is is cool. Uh, yeah, uh, there there are definitely yeah some some that I'm I'm pretty sure no one has mentioned, uh, or I've not seen reported on Reddit or anybody else's videos of ah oh, here's some Easter eggs about this. Okay. Um, so there are there's still some stuff to discover. Uh, but uh, no, I unfortunately I can't mention anything. Yeah, yeah. anything that would uh, get me in trouble. Yeah. For sure, for uh, sure. <laughs> and uh, yeah, but no, the nineteen seventy four movie is the uh, is the one that we've we've based things off. Mm -hmm. um, so that that's all we're all I'm allowed to say at the mo at the moment. Absolutely, that makes sense. But, uh, uh, no. And thank you, Vicky McKenzie and Jazzy Grant and Dusky Phoenix for your last minute donations there. Yeah, thank you very much. That's I mean, it is uh, special effect is an amazing cause. Um, I mean, I mean, Paige and I have known each other for oh God, a lot of years. Yeah. Many, <laughs> and, and we've been yeah, and not just through special effect, but through other other games company jobs and things like that. And yeah, I mean, it, I had the pleasure of meeting um, Baz, and uh, yeah, he was my first introduction mm -hmm. to uh, special effects. He's a fantastic, fantastic guy. Uh, was absolute an absolute champion for special effect um and yeah it was it was very much a case of you know however we can support yeah this this great cause because it really does bring people together you know it, it unlocks i mean we talked about unlocking potential mm -hmm. it just does that in, in spades and yeah it makes people's lives better and as a you know Try not try to make a blush. Go on, blush, Paige. Um, <laughs> she is. I mean, changing people's lives. I mean, uh, yeah, I'd make games for a living. It's it's silly stuff. I'm blessed to do it. Yeah, special effect change people's lives for the better. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you know, absolutely. That is, um, yeah, oh. that is a worthwhile thing. Yeah, we're so happy to uh, to have helped and and worked with you guys with this and. I'm I'm so happy for everyone who uh, donated. Thank yes, you so much, thank everyone. Thank you all so much. Yeah, uh, yeah. We'd love to do this again sometime. It's yeah, a great absolutely. Cause. Awesome. And thank yeah. you for joining us. Uh, one last thank important question, Paige. What are your cats' names? I see two of them. There's one behind the <laughs> you chair. You see two. Okay. And then yes. So one next <laughs> to you. So this is Io. Um, Io. She is very very grouchy, but she does <laughs> like coming and sitting near me occasionally. So she's a grouchy oh. baby. Oh. Um, and then Titan, who is currently nice. on the Ottoman. Um, they're both named after moons. Yes. I was going to yep. say, they're, mo yes. they're both moons. Are they Jupiters or Saturns? I forget. Jupiters, Those yes. Are Jupiters. Okay. And then little baby Ty, complete polar opposite to this one. She's grumpy. <laughs> He's stupid. And <laughs> very, very friendly. But yes, the they, two they ends of the spectrum. Yeah, grumpy exactly, and stupid. exactly. <laughs> Um, but yes, yeah. they're, they're my friends that join me. And uh, just from me to all of you watching, and to you, James and Chelsea, thank you so much for one, this yeah. opportunity, and two, your support. And just for being part of this, I know Halloween is so busy for you guys, <laughs> but it's it's been no, super this cool. Was, this was and so, much so great. Yeah. It's yeah. Been a, it's been absolutely amazing. And Chelsea, congratulations on the Dangan Romper kill count because I don't know how thank you managed you. it, but it was amazing. Oh my gosh, I'm so proud of it. So happy. It was so good. Thank so you good. so much. <laughs> yes. And uh, message me, we'll talk a Starian.
Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> yes, again. Monitor those texts. Uh, yeah. If it's not stopped after three months, Steve, it's not going away. It's meant so, to be. It's, it's meant, meant to be. Yeah. And, um, yeah, yeah, a massive thank you to everyone who has donated and shared. And that puppet competition will be going until the 9th of November. So I've Ooh, just reshared yes. it on Twitter yeah. from at Special Effect. And Great. We'll Gonna thank you. We'll, we'll retweet that too. No, yeah. thank you very cool. much. Thanks a lot, yeah. guys, and thank you everyone thank you, who everyone. Uh, joined us for this stream. And uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll see you all around. All right. Bye, Bye everyone. Bye. Thank you. Bye.